Hi everyone, I am Idysis. Also, I apologize in advance because in case you're wondering, I, I'm not a I'm not a dirty animal who's been wearing the same clothes for like every video straight. I did all these in one day over the course of several things. So like the past like maybe three or four of these or maybe the three or four that come after, I don't know the upload schedule, but um, actually I guess I make it. Either way, the point is I'm not wearing, this is all in one day. This is not several that chat don't, don't tell don't make fun of me. No, I can put on a different shirt if you want me to. I'm realizing now that me recording all these in one day means that <laughs> I'm wearing the same outfit. Anyway, there's gonna be Dead Rising 3 all bosses speedrun explained. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time, and this has been kind of like one of my holy grails. And I've actually tried doing this over for years. Every time I've ever tried this, every single time, I die somewhere. I die to a boss fight, I die to a stray zombie. It's a brutal category with not a lot of forgiveness. We'll talk about why. Just understand, I think this is going to be the one. Anyway, to start things off, we're doing a category that is going to be um, Nightmare New Game. In fact, I've probably put that in my Twitch channel so people know. Um, but in case you're wondering why, Nightmare, all bosses. Oh, God, hold on. Uh, Nightmare New Game, let's go. We're doing Nightmare New Game, all bosses. Uh, the idea behind this category is that it is brutal. Uh, also, more importantly, you can see right here, reset game is grayed out. I have reset the game, and we are currently on a level 1 file. So, this is going to be pretty rough. Now, I bet you're wondering, why Nightmare Mode? So, while we do have a mod for this now, in the past we didn't have a time skip mod, Dead Rising 3 is kind of interesting, and this is going to be anything anyone can do, and I kind of like the fact that you have to do this. In order to make this game save time you have to do nightmare mode um i'll just tell you right now because it's easy to say on story mode if it's the normal difficulty it's not too bad there's checkpoints and you know damage is much less uh prevalent now the thing is dead rising is known for its wait times normal mode or sorry story mode normal mode has i want to say three sections of 30 minute waits each so throughout the game, there are going to be three portions of waiting. Uh, the first one is 30 minutes. The second one is 30 minutes. And then the third one is also 30 minutes. Also, I want to move around one thing really quick on my splits. It's going to be a big deal. Uh, we'll get. Uh, I can explain it later when I'm moving around. But going along with this, if you're wondering why is Nightmare Mode faster? Nightmare Mode is faster because since they're making it more difficult, one of the catches is that as you play the game, those waiting sections become 10 minutes each. So instead of an hour and a half of waiting, you have 30 minutes total of waiting. To make it even further so, um, I actually ended up making this my pet category. Also, I'm using no DLC. I don't like the idea that new DLC weapons should be used. They're pretty much new game plus. I don't like it. So this is going to be no DLC, level one file, hardest difficulty, all bosses all bo uh, all bosses is actually a way to occupy those 10 minutes because we have that waiting we'll have something to do meaning this run virtually has no downtime and it's become one of my favorite categories for dead rising 3 um that being said we're gonna hop into it it's gonna be single player it'll be nice and easy uh hopefully the auto splitter will go i hope you like it anyway to kick things off also this has a load remover if you see the timer pause randomly uh that's because it's not counting loads uh, that will be there, but also I can show the real time. Real time, the six, a little under three hours. So, we're gonna be good there. Anyway, first things first. Uh, if you want to skip cutscenes, it's B. Uh, B is also how you pick up items. You're going to have to pick up chippies. Like, this is the tutorial. I'm gonna teach you how to play the game. Uh, as well, you don't have access to the sprint yet, so you'll see me hop. Uh, the hopping will be slightly faster. Who's that, Lido Gokan? And yeah, a lot of games will have um, in-game timers. It's kind of a, a nice system to make it more fair to everybody. Because not everyone's going to have, like, supercomputers where the loads are instant. So a load remover is actually really nice for fair play. That was an R2N. 
Nope, you just hop as you go. You can just like rhythmically tap the button. It's very easy to, uh, it's not a hard to hop. You just mash it. Order it up, see like 33 bitties. It's much appreciated. By the way, viewers, do not try to see. Every one of these speed run explain videos took place a week apart and he's been wearing the same clothes the whole time. Cap of course. Well, thank you for 30 bits. Much appreciated. Anyway, uh, I waited a little bit for jumping there because that zombie will always be there. Uh, note, avoid the zombies. If you have not noticed, my health has already been torn to shreds. Uh, the zombies decimate you. Be very careful around them and be willing to heal. Like, abuse the healing. As a neuro thug. No, I, I said, all right. So as you go through the intro, it's mostly just avoiding zombies. Don't have to worry too much now. A lot of tech will come later. I was telling chat that I was making this, you, yeah, I'm on nightmare difficulty. As a die vampire. I was mentioning because since I'm making speedruns explain videos and I'm realizing that for YouTube I'm gonna be having a bunch of videos where I'm wearing the exact same outfit. So I was telling everyone like, no, I just recorded it all in one day. I'm not I I I you know, I changed my clothes. I've been I've been wearing the same outfit over like four days. Now chat's making fun of me. A run of this will be probably about three hours. Anyway, it's pretty easy to make your way through. Do be careful about jumping too much within the zombies. Um, I like to hug the right side. It's a little bit safe. Uh, the zombies are pretty deadly, though. Uh, you can go more through the middle if you want. Be very careful, um, because it is really easy to kind of get torn to shreds on Nightmare Mode. By the way, this isn't like Dead Rising 1 or 2. If you die in the prologue, you die for real. Uh, there's going to be a zombie coming up that is always going to be an attack. Also, there's a cookie. This one will always grab you. Jump over him. And also, mind your stamina. That's a big thing. Just mind your stamina. I'm not doing your thug. I'm just like, you? Right? I can't believe it. For real, for real. I, why did I grab that? No, I wanted the bagel. Thank you. Also, platform on the cars. Don't, like, run through the zombie board. It's pretty bad. Be very careful about your stamina, too. If you're wondering how you know you have low stamina, Nick will do a jump where he, like, falls down immediately. It's pretty bad. You also start holding his side. I'm playing it much safer than I normally do because I really don't want to die. There's also dodge rolling, which is nice. I think you just tap uh, the left stick and you can dodge roll. All right. Let's be a lawyer. Exactly. Lore wise, Dead Rising 3. This game's kind of weird. I personally don't mind Dead Rising 3. I like this game. Um, I've warmed up to it a lot over time. But Dead Rising 3 is a game that is much less acknowledged than all the other ones. Because it's not laughably bad like Dead Rising 4. But it's also a pretty far departure than Dead Rising 1 and 2. And it's quite different. Trying to figure out the cost of a copy of Seaman usually goes for. It's not that expensive. Seaman's actually not a super expensive game. Plus, I need to play Seaman soon. I actually had a sub thing for that. And I don't get me wrong. I plan on doing it. Anyway, you must build the combo weapon in order to get through. This is mandatory, so just build it. You don't need the combo weapon. You have to build it, though. The game's trying to teach you everything all at once. We're kind of zooming through it. Alrighty, so at this point, we're going to learn about cars. The big thing of Dead Rising 4. Or 3, sorry. Cars. Seaman? Yeah, you know Seaman's a winnable game, right? You can beat all of Seaman. Like, it's a winnable... It has a win condition. Alrighty. So, the main thing right now about this car is don't step on the gas immediately. Uh, the reason why is because uh, you'll bonk into that wall. It's not... Like, until it's fully down, it's not considered down. So, like, you can crash into it. No, I'm not learning the speedrunners beating the game again. Yeah, so it'll be time to crush Nick Ramos's credit score. By the way, his name is Nick Ramos. I didn't make that up. The game did. But they call him Nick Ramos. It's stupid. It's Ramos. Anyway, there's gonna be some people. You can mostly ignore them. They do give you experience, but we're not gonna need that experience. It's a little bit slow for what we want. As well, the 10 minute wait does not start yet. It will start in a little bit. I'm also taking a weird path. I don't know why, but it's fine. Normally, you'd want to go to the street. I like to hop out right before we go in here, and we're out of the prologue. Nice. Okay. 
So, we now have some waiting to do, and we have a lot to do during this wait. The waiting's not going to quite just be waiting. Morning, Mars. Hope you're doing good. First things first, immediately get the car. You're going to be taking this alley. You need this car specifically because it's going to serve as a platform. Try not to run over that motorcycle. You can just kind of ram this. And guess what? You've now created stairs. Uh, you can now get up here much easier. You don't have to do the whole puzzle thing. Just, just hop right up. What you're doing is you're getting the Grim Reaper. It is going to be the Mega Reaper. Feel free to create it now for, uh, you know, the combo weapon. They do pronounce it Ramos, and it's sad. Anyway, you can now take both of these, and we are now head over to the next one. Uh, you don't need this car, although, you know, you can take it if you want. This is why you left the motorcycle up. that. Nice. You're not going to take the motorcycle. We're going to drive over to the gym. Everything I am doing is going to be very, very specific. Uh, you want to take this here because this is going to allow you to make your way right through here. Now, while you're in here, this is going to be really weird. Grab the MMA gloves. Okay, get out of the way. Okay. What is this angle? What is this angle? There we go. Okay, this is awkward. It's fine. I have no idea why that happened. Anyway, grab the MMA gloves. You don't actually need the gloves. You just need to have the gloves. So at this point, you're now going to save this guy with the Reaper. Learn to killing zombies? Probably. I'm not going to lie. I never really did achievement hunting. And if I did, it wasn't in this game. You want to kill all the zombies in here, preferably with the Reaper, and you want to get a lot of the kills. Um, let's see. I didn't really get a whole lot. I want to get level two. Uh, it is a bit of a downside about one zombie, because he did kind of body block me. But right now, your goal is get level two. Uh, you'll do this by getting some kills with the Reaper, which, uh, it's weird. It's not counting some of the kills I'm getting. It's really weird. <laughs> and... All right, got it. So, we now have level two. Uh, we're now going to be going in here. Uh, before anything else, though, we're actually going into smart and putting one upgrade into smart. Uh, you can grab this recipe, and you can immediately leave. Uh, there's health back here if you need it. You're not really going to need too much of it, though. Uh, but I like to go back here for another reason. I was actually remembering. Why do I go back here? Oh, yeah, that's right. You want to make a fire reaper. Now you have another... You upgraded a reaper. So, the Reaper is called a super combo weapon, or like a, an ultra combo weapon. I don't remember the exact name, but it's a deluxe. What that means is not only is it a combo weapon, but it can combo into other weapons. By the way, the way I'm doing this combo is I'm just mashing Y. You push Y like three times, no combo. It's very good for farming enemies. The Reaper is going to be our experience routing. This actually is an RPG as weird as it sounds. And I like to go here to about maybe level three or so. Uh, the grab is also good to use. Whenever the prompt comes up, you want to use it. Uh, there might be some buttons behind me that you might be missing. It's okay. Uh, just know that on the left side of the screen, there'll be like a YB that shows up. Just push that one up. And we're almost good. As long as the Reaper doesn't break. Okay, we're good. All right, there's level three. Technically, you can delay this if you want. This isn't totally necessary, but I'd rather get it here because zombie killing is very good and efficient. Uh, getting experience. Uh, right now, as well, we'll be getting our next Reaper. Also, uh, you see these gloves? Get rid of them. We picked up those gloves because later we're going to be using something called combo lockers. And combo lockers are going to be reliant on items you've picked up throughout the game. There aren't a lot of MMA gloves in the game, so you're going to want that one. Actually, funny enough, I guess we do get one later, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Don't worry about the MMA gloves. I My, my brain skipped a beat. Actually, wait. No, 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 I was right. I was right. Yeah, you need those then. You do need them earlier. That's right. You do need them earlier. See, my brain's not totally mush, chat. You did, Zexans. We do pick those. All right, yeah. Pick up the MMA gloves. You do need to grab those. At some point in the game, you do need MMA gloves. It's going to make a combo weapon later in the game that's really strong. We don't have the recipe yet. It's like a very endgame recipe. And there's no other moment in the game that we'll get uh, MMA gloves we can bring into that area without massively deviating. Anyway, at this point, uh, you now have all the supplies. That's why you grab everything in that area. Uh, you can make two ultimate Grim Reapers. Tell me you can make three if you want, but you only need two. 
Yep, this is going to be a strong weapon. The Ultimate Grim Reaper is supposed to be a grand scavenger hunt. The game's kind of expecting that you'll take time to do as you play and find secrets. Guess what? You know about this now. It's been maybe, uh, what, 10 minutes into playing this game? Maybe more like 12? Um, yeah, we're strong. Why are we strong? You're about to find out. So, this is going to farm experience like mad. Because not only is it the Reaper, it is also going to launch explosions. It is a very strong weapon. The reason why we're using this weapon, though, is kind of funny. Also, I kind of missed the Reaper hit. I don't know why that happened, but it's fine. The reason why this is strong isn't because of the actual weapon itself. We're never going to actually use this as an actual weapon. We're using this as a zombie farm. Because right now, like I mentioned, we have 10 minutes of waiting. We're currently in the first 10 minutes of waiting. It happens right at the beginning of the game. It's kind of the game's introduction to you. Oh, hold on. Oh, I missed it. That's fine. So we're going to use this moment to actually just kind of farm out a bit. Now, the thing is, we can't farm forever. I mean, in theory, if you want to get level 50 immediately, you probably could. But with the way we're doing this route, we're going to want to make sure that we have a very efficient farming. Also, grab you. And the idea is we're actually making our way over to Dana. Also, am I going to keep that Reaper? I might. Okay, I hope I do. Let's see. All right, Dana is now alive. I've killed all the zombies here. There's one right here. Give me you. What? Oh, my God. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm now level six. That's okay. Level six is good. We've now saved Dana. She's going to run away. And we are now in the first boss of the game. He's going to be right here. Funny enough, for the boss fight, there's a few different strats. Your inventory is going to be locked to four right now. Um, what we're going to be using is a new weapon. Uh, in this room, there is a combo weapon, which is going to be the Dragon Punch. Uh, the Dragon Punch is going to be a motorcycle engine and boxing gloves. And it's just a very strong early game weapon. I'll say doing today, Mars. That's incredible moon. Hope you all doing good today, chat. No, you may have noticed I haven't upgraded anything yet. This is for a reason. Uh, during a lot of boss fights, you want to keep health upgrades ready and available. You might die if you're not careful. So we're going to take the fight. Uh, I like to do about maybe two or three hits before anything else. Uh, I'm actually going to be taking some food. That's fine. I actually kind of want the gun too, but I want... Well, I guess I want the gun then. The best combo is about, let's say, two regular hits, one strong hit, and then you roll out. And that's the most efficient. You can also do three if you want. Just be very careful about the slam, because that will knock you out. That's not bad. Nice. They're good weapons. All right, we're about halfway. We're at the halfway phase. Uh, he is now angry. Uh, wait, is he? Should be. Where is he? There he is. All right, we're in the halfway mark. Here's Mars. Okay, so he hasn't really done his uh, other phase yet, but he has another phase where he'll uh, teleport away and he'll actually uh, hop up on platforms. This is why you want the gun. Uh, alternatively, another strat you can do is the gongs uh, will give you free hits. Those are actually good if you can get them, but you might not always be in position. Uh, Z will move around kind of just to attack you. You might not always end up in an opportune spot. That's okay. This is why we have the dragon punch. All right, good fight. Very good fight, in fact. And Z is dead. Yeah. So a lot of modern games tend to be a bit more well-made. By the way, you don't need those weapons. You could ignore them. Uh, they're not going to be there. And before we go to Ronda, I have one more thing to do. Also, there's a glitch. Uh, I found this. It's pretty cool. But if you dragon punch off of any um, height, you will get a boost. It's nice. This game doesn't have too many skips because... Whenever you're, all right, if you're trying to formulate speedrun skips in the brain or something like that of, oh, how can I do it? Think about what you want to do. In Dead Rising, you have to do cases. The game is very locked behind cases. It's hard to break Dead Rising because it's based on game happening. It's not based on you being in a place. It's based on that. And you remember that Reaper? You're using it to clear out the safe zone. You need the safe zone. It's very important to have it. All right, clear it out. We're going to grab this magazine. Uh, I recommend right now what you should be doing is once this room is now cleared out, 
you are going to make a save right here. By the way, in case you're wondering, I have played this amazingly well because uh, I think this is the first time I've ever done this. I timed everything perfectly because uh, Rhonda is all done and we are here. Uh, normally, I end up being a little bit late to Rhonda, but I got that literally perfect. I, I definitely know that, uh, that's color. It's more just the case of for Dead Rising, um, while there's some tech that works, you can't break the game totally. You can kind of break the game. There's little things you can do in between, but I don't think I'll hit the point of totally breaking it all right upgrade time what we're doing you are upgrading immediately uh mechanic you're getting up to the second combo you want vehicle push uh, as well right now you're going to be upgrading range and you'll be saving the last two for life always have room for life that is the biggest tip for dead rising three you need life upgrade you don't use it you hold it Ideally, you want to play good enough where you never need to upgrade. Also, at this point in the game, we're going to be hitting driving in cars. Uh, it's going to get really bad. The most necessary upgrade in the game is probably vehicle push. Uh, this is going to make it so I don't get stuck in the game. And also kind of going into a fast caller. I found a skip coming up right now, but like this is going to be a skip the way you think it's going to be a skip. It's going to be very minor what I'm about to do. Uh, help us for chumps. It's a heal. In this game, it's like having like, let's say like an Estus and Dark Souls or something like that, right? Okay, so there's gonna be a group of survivors. If you're really, uh, if you're really ballsy, you can kill every zombie here, uh, and that will actually give you a lot of experience. However, uh, we're not gonna do that because we do not want to damage this motorcycle. Uh, the skip I found is grabbing this motorcycle. It's actually a really cool skip because what you end up doing is normally if you drive all the way down, there's a blockade. And the blockade is going to prevent you from driving your car that you just made. You made this fancy car, you can't drive it anymore. I found out that if you take a motorcycle, all you have to do is slow down for a brief moment. Also, motorcycles are faster. Slow down for a brief... Oh, don't break. Don't break. Don't break on me. Just wiggle on in here. And there you go. You can just drive to the end. Otherwise, you'd have to sprint like 100 meters, uh, which is uh, pretty bad. Uh, anyway, we are now going to be gearing up for the next fight. Be careful mashing on doors, by the way, because it will register items next to you, and that's bad. Anyway, sprint forward immediately, get in the Dodge Charger, tank your credit score, and kill him. This guy will always die if you do what I just said. You may have tanked your credit score, but you've also tanked that guy's life. Okay, so the idea behind this, uh, you can shoot them, the better strategy is to drive into them. Uh, Head-on collisions are going to be the best. Uh, do not do this in real life, it'll go bad. But uh, you want these meaty explosions. And to get these, you need speed. You're probably going to break about two or three cars. There's also RNG where they can kill themselves, and they can also, like, just run directly into you. It's really dumb. Funny enough, car crashes aren't lethal in this game, as weird as that might sound. You can actually do pretty good at, uh, just, you know... You can stay in a car for a long, longer amount of time than you should be able to. In case you're wondering, is there an exact science to this? Uh, go where the rednecks are. It's like trying to it's trying to get some uh, some good rooskies, I suppose, is the answer. <laughs> Don't tell me I did a lot blew my car. Okay, it's fine. This car's about to break, by the way. It's kind of funny, because, like, people really do not explode for a while. I'm at five right now. I might need to use a gun. Maybe I can get these two. Yeah, let's use gun. I'm not going to get away with gun. Alright, gun. I am uh, having some rough luck with these dudes. It's fine. The main reason I don't use gun all the time is just because sometimes they can be a little bit rough. Alright, that's fine. Oh, I can't be. That's fine. Uh, there's cars over here. This has been a bad fight, by the way. You can see why you kind of want to stay in the car, for the most part, at least. 
What are you? Okay. That, I think I blow up three cars, by the way. It's kind of funny because the chapter one is really good. Or, sorry, the, the prologue is really good, and then the redneck fight has been terrible. Uh, there we go. Okay, that, it's weird. Like I said, they sometimes just run directly into you and die. Like, I, I don't know why. They just sort of do. Anyway, it is now time for the boss fight. Um, this boss fight, you're just going to roll out of the way, and then you're going to lob Molotov at him. Uh, this will activate his event. It's actually the best way of fighting him. Anyway, count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do the heavy hit on nine. Uh, you could, in theory, get him on fire twice. It doesn't always work, but you could. Uh, ideally, you want him to char- Is he okay? Okay, it's fine. He acts weird. Let's go with that. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if he'll act normal. All right, he's normal. And... He'll be dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good fight. And... That was good. That was a clean fight. I definitely could have played it better in some parts, I'll say. But it's not so bad. Morning, Donnie Jams. Hope you're doing good today. Sometimes you get what you get. As finished? Oh, yeah. Early game, you really want to rely on the actual game mechanics, if that makes sense. Uh, also, if you need healing, Ruski. And now we're going to make the Roller Hog. The Roller Hog has a few uses. Uh, one of the best ones is this is going to give us a lot of experience as we drive, so it's nice. Anyway, you have a couple paths you can take. You're going to take the upper path. There's someone you can save right there. Personally, I don't really like saving that person. Uh, it does take a little bit more time than I prefer. Uh, we're going to be going up in this way, though. Now, one thing about Dead Rising 3 I really want to mention is learning this run is realistically learning all four neighborhoods and how to navigate through them. Like, if, you, if you're getting told you need to go, uh, I don't remember the names of the actual neighborhoods. I think it's like, it's Ingleton, Sunset Hills, uh, Century City, and uh, our Central City, where the hell it is. And then, uh, God, I don't remember the last one. Uh, I don't really think of them that way. So what I do is it's top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. That's gonna be easier. Oh, Almuda. It's South Almuda. That's it. They're all based on Los Angeles neighborhoods, funny enough. It's kind of... So, uh, remembering how to get to each, um, you know, every area is enough to paths and how to get there. So, Ingleton will lead you to Almuda and will also lead you to Sunset Hills. Um, also known as, you know, bottom left and top right. By the way, this is why I want the Roller Hog. You can just murder all the zombies around that guy immediately and net yourself some sweet experience. It's quite nice. Then we're just going right over here. Uh, we've held on to the Reaper the whole time. Uh, there is a reason for that. Uh, we want to be using the Reaper right in here. Uh, this is an area on New Game that can be quite lethal. Free experience is nice. Frank statues exist in this game. They are minimal XP, but they are XP nonetheless. Jump before you enter the zombie pit. Uh, they will grab you. Uh, all these zombies are alive, and they will absolutely murk you. And there's also a zombie tunnel, also known as an XP tunnel. So, get him. There's going to be a lot in here. Just kill the whole tunnel. Uh, it is safer, and it is going to be nice for your own personal uh, vanity. And there we go. Nice and through the tunnel. Pretty easy when you uh, do it that way. Funny enough, um, there is a... A hearse right over here. So go right, grab the hearse. You can run through the cemetery. Don't. Grab the hearse. Just drive. 
right over here. I yeah, hope you're doing good, Madus. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a nice day. I, I like streaming. I feel bad because I'm gonna be taking a week off for GDQ, but I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm killing it lately. I feel I feel good about myself. So it's nice. Alrighty, so we are now really beginning the crux of what is, I guess, known as Chapter Two. Uh, chapter Two is pretty easy. It's kind of more of a tutorial to Queens more than anything. You're gonna take this car, just gonna drive right there, and you're gonna break into the morgue. Uh, I actually recommend taking the boxing gloves out because then you can do this. Well, this. There you go. Uh, you're actually grabbing a couple of Queens. Funny enough. Uh, Queens will come in handy later. Uh, first off, let Gary in. He'll have his little animation. If you need to heal, healing is good. I recommend having two Queens, though, by the end of this. Uh, the reason why is because having a couple of Queens is going to be good for uh, later on because you can actually save some survivors very quickly. Anyway, this is a funeral. Uh, you could run through it. May as well let yourself some free experience. Plus, it makes it a little bit safer. You can pretty much uh, use all of your Reaper if you have at this point. At least get a level and move on. Uh, clear the entrance. Uh, it makes it easier for you and Gary. And remember, Gary loves you. And then we can head right on in. I think a cutscene actually happens when you get down here. So if you did want to zoom, you can. But I usually find the free levels pretty nice. Anyway, the answer to this is always the same. It is this one. Uh, I recommend getting out the boxing glove because the store is going to be a zombie. Zoom in there. I got grabbed anyway. That's funny. Mean, but kind of funny. There we go. Dead. Got the keys. It's kind of funny, too, because you can see Gary running around trying to get to, like, the right spot. And it's like, hey, okay, yeah. I look. It's like, oh, I'm in the right spot. And then it's like, oh, hey, no. I'm going back over there. He just keeps running around because he... The game doesn't think you know what to do fast enough, so it's like, oh. By the way, you don't need this. I just like grabbing it. I don't know. I like the animation. All right, and now for a pretty easy part. We're just going to drive on through. It's pretty easy. Uh, the game automatically puts you inside of a hearse. Let's look. Ass. Oh, my God. Yeah, is that... Oh, my God. Wait, does Shotgun turn into Michael from Faith? Are you going to have their, their goon session? <laughs> Anyway, drive through this alley. Uh, if you try going through the street, you will get Molotov to death. There's just a bunch of Molotovs lying around there. So, um, drive through the alley. It's really safe. Really easy drive. And then you go right up the street. You end up at this bar around here, and then you're good to go. I guess this is a strip club more than a bar, but it's a little bit of A, a little bit of B. And there we have it. We are uh, now out of Chapter 2, entering Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is where the run really starts to become hell. Um, I think every run has its hell points. Uh, chapter 3 in this game is one of them. Anyway, it's RNG on what cars you get. Um, I just take this one right here. Normally, I like a Dodge Charger. I don't get a Dodge Charger. That being said, I think there are minor speed differences between cars. If you're wondering what's the fastest car, the car that's available to you. However, for style's sake, three credit score, a licensed man, Nick Ramos, Dodge Charger. Perfect combination, really. Actually, I think the fastest cars are, by the way, motorcycles and sports cars. So you can prioritize those if you want. But uh, basic cars, the Dodge Charger just feels right. Yeah, at this point, you can make your way over to the plane. The, the plot of the game is that you're trying to get a plane to get out of LA because zombies are here. And then you have to, like, get plane supplies so you can fly out, which it works well enough, I suppose. By the way, funny enough, for all bosses, this is technically a boss, but it's funny because uh, the way I actually routed this was Time for a Hero is a blue mission that has no effect on the late game. You don't have to do it. It introduces you to uh, Kenny the Survivor. Which, it's funny because in Dead Rising 1, we require you to do Kent. That's because Kent locks you out of doing his boss mission later if you don't do his mission. Um, 
Dead Rising 3 is weird because you can just straight up ignore it. You don't have to do that. Like, Kenny will always just become, like, a psycho no matter what you do. So you just ignore it. And it's like, oh, there we go. Okay. Anyway, I've already made a mistake by hopping in the Dodge Charger. But it's not a big mistake. It's actually kind of uh, smart. Because what we need is this motorcycle right here. Uh, motorcycles are our friends quite a lot of the time. You can get a motorcycle, it'll be good. I've tanked the Dodge Charger. Nick's credit score will go down once again. He will never own a home. Anyway, motorcycles are fast. Uh, however, they're also really thin. That's the main reason we want it. Like, like I said, speed can go one way or another. However, size matters in this game. Not in the way you think, though. Also, we're getting the nighttime cutscene. Uh, the game is now showing you that it is 7 p.m. I am currently going pretty fast, from what I can tell. Normally, I get 7 p.m. a little bit earlier. This is pretty good. You know about that? Size matters in Dead Rising 3. That's why Dead Rising 4 has Frank's big package. But the main reason why is because we have a few different ways to get over to Sunset Hills. This is the top right of the map. And the best way would actually be going through Century City, which is where we are now. The problem is Century City has a massive roadblock throughout the entirety of the game. However, motorcycles can bypass this. The reason why is because even though the road is blocked off up ahead, uh, there's a bush here. You can just go there. By the way, the bush won't load in entirely. It waits. Uh, from here on out, uh, honestly, I recommend just getting in the sports car. Uh, the reason why is because there's a good chance that bike will blow up or you'll uh, skid out over this ramp. So, we'll just drive around from here. Like I said, you have to kind of get used to what the route is per area. Like, the roads are blocked, but that doesn't mean that the roads are blocked. It means that you have to take a different road and the route isn't what you think it is. So, the route, the route will always be the same. To you, the road might be blocked out. But that just becomes the new road, I guess, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know it's a weird roundabout way of saying just learn the game, but, like, knowing that route's going to be good. Anyway, what I'm about to do isn't really recommended. You get a little bit of experience, but I'll be fully honest. Uh, not enough people really run this game for me to care about something like uh, getting really anal for record. So what I do is this. I take my queens and I throw them here. I have two queens. I also don't want to blow that car with a motorcycle right there if I need it. Okay, we save Alec. Why? I don't want zombies in here. Now, I assure you, this is absolutely necessary. Why? I am Mexican. So, mariachi shirt. Mariachi boots. Well, not the taco. This is, this is just in the way. Mariachi pants. Sombrero. There are better times to do this. Uh, I'm already here, so I do it here. You can do it at a better time if you wish. However, it adds flair to the run. And flair sometimes is nice. It's not always about getting there the fastest. You gotta smell the roses every now and again, right? Anyway, now we're mariachi men. This looks like the right place. Got it. Here we go. Hopefully you still have your boxing gloves. Don't actually get rid of these, and it's going to be for a really weird reason. Also, once you get here, mash B. Uh, this actually skips the dialogue. Who the hell are you, and what the hell do you want? Listen, I'm looking for a girl. How do you know Annie? There we go. Like what kind of Look, we had to so, I mentioned earlier about that glitch I talked about that I found, which is the, uh, like the dragon punch momentum you. thing. I'm not letting you in without my tattoo kit in the ring. Uh, we want to do that because it's going to be really good for getting off of certain areas. Uh, there is an order you can do this. There's actually a really cool co-op strat you can do because I've done a co-op run of this before. It's pretty neat. Uh, we're going to start on the bottom for single because uh, this is going to make it easier to go to the top right when we need to go there. Anyway, this is a safe space to park my car. I'm going to leave it right about here. Uh, hopefully they won't beat up my car. Zombies can't do that. And also, like I said, whenever you're off a ledge, you can kind of just punch off. It makes you really fast. That's me convenient for the school. Uh, as well, the school is a pretty rough section of the game. Uh, football zombies are one of the worst subsets of zombies in the whole game. They're pretty bad. Also, watch, you do this. Whee! Luckily for us, you just need this box, and then you can leave immediately. You do not need to kill a single zombie. Uh, I highly, re I highly recommend 
Uh, what's the word? Dodge rolling preemptively. If you don't, that will happen, which I mentioned zombies, are football zombies pretty bad. Make your way through nice and easy. Then, watch. Whee! You kind of zoom through the whole zombie horde and it's much nicer than having to drive normally. Also, I really hope this doesn't break. It will be kind of funny though, and the reason why the Dodge Charger reigns supreme is going to be late game. Although, I think this car is going to break, so we're actually going to get off of it. For maximum horsepower, the Dodge Charger. You know they discontinued the Dodge Charger, and that was the saddest news I've ever heard. About Dodge Chargers, at least. Quite sad when you think about it. Anyway, we're actually going right up here. This is like the only time in the game you have to go here. You know, like the Dodge Charger? I don't own one, but I think they look kind of cool, and they're good for this game. Anyway, motorcycles are going to be kind of weird because they are good. Also, do not grab that magazine. It's not good for you. You don't need it. Uh, you do want to grab the magazine in the safe house I did earlier. That's actually where we were there. And I'll mention magazines as we go. Uh, they have a hitting effect we haven't talked about yet. But I should have mentioned that earlier when we were in the other safe house. But yeah, motorcycles late game, there are so many zombies who will hit you on a motorcycle, it's just almost not worth it to use it. Like, some cases it's worth it, others are not. And it'd be very delicate driving down. If you try full sending it, you will flip the car, and that's not good. If the car doesn't have to survive, you literally just need to make sure that you don't flip it. Alright, and with that, we finished part one of chapter three. This one's really long, by the way. I really cool to see a clock tower in Dead Rising. There's a clock tower in Dead Rising. Dead Rising 1 has a clock tower in the park. All right, inventory. Make sure you don't have anything bad in your inventory, like excess food, like a taco. You're going to need two guns that you're making here. Um, the Reaper's okay to have. You don't totally need it, but it might be pretty good to have. There's also save points. I'm actually going to uh, use one really soon, just in case. Now, obviously, if you're going for record, ideally, you wouldn't want to use them, but sometimes you gotta. Anyway, we're going to be grabbing the shotgun, and we're going to be making the boom cannon. This is a strong weapon, for early especially. Rising games have a neat thing. Get out of the way, you. Dead Rising things have a neat thing where you find out that the strongest things tend to be guns. Uh, for new game files, guns are busted. Anyway, going along right now, we're gonna be going right down here. In fact, I'll show you a cool trick. Uh, we're gonna be getting rid of that. We're gonna be taking this magazine, the Fortune Fighter, and I am actually gonna be getting a brand new Reaper. We're not even gonna worry about it. Go to Super Combos, Ultimate Grim Reaper. Uh, you can get one out of it. Combo lockers refresh over time, and speed runs, they're actually, you know, pretty tactical in how we use them. Uh, it'll be nice to have a new one of these, so we get it now. That was, yeah, that was doing good. No, I should mention in the... Well, first of all, I'll grab this. Junk bike's gonna be good to have, just in case we need it. Actually, a really good car. By the way, this uh, is good to move because it gives you more stamina, too. The important thing is going to be... Upgrade your range. Uh, we don't have enough for everything yet, but we will have enough for that. Just double-checking what exactly I have. Also, did I equip the magazine? Let me just double-check. Uh, I do have it. Right, I have it. Okay, we're good. By the way, in case you're wondering why this car's lobby broken, there is a junk bike right there. However, we're not actually going to make the junk bike, as funny as that sounds. We're going to be taking the uh, Lamborghini right here. So it doesn't matter if the car breaks. Uh, make sure you go on top of the car and you're shooting at security cameras. Uh, if you've done everything right up to this point, what's going to happen is you can one-shot them with this gun. That's actually why you wanted to take this gun. Uh, it's also going to have really good point-blank damage. Um, the, the magazine, the upgrades, it's all good. Uh, it's okay if the car takes damage. There's brand new Lamborghinis right there. Uh, be very careful of the zombies and try your best to get on top of the car. Uh, the reason why we are jumping on top of the car is so zombies don't shred us. And then you're aiming right about there. Got it. I probably could have, uh, trusted myself more, but I'm okay with that. Anyway, Lamborghini. We have one more, and same as before. We're going to go right up the road. However, this time, we're going to go right up to the blockade. There's going to be another one, and we're just going to shoot it out from a distance. 
You can hit right from here. About right. Yeah. Got it. Uh, as well, I'll be, uh, you know, being nice to myself. I will save the game. Why? Sometimes Dead Rising 3 does not cooperate. And I'll say this right now. This game will kill you. And sometimes it won't be your fault. There are times you will fall to the ground. There are times where zombies will never let you move and you stop playing the game. This game's mean. Also, here's what's right. You need to clear the way, bump into things, and then get some distance and build some speed. You need enough to go over the ramp. So, you can't just full send it. The block, uh, little pylons are going to prevent you from doing that. So, I should mention right now, you know all those uh, upgrades I've been saving for life? There's not a correct answer on when to use them. The correct answer, actually, is never. The second correct answer is when you d you're about to die. This isn't an exact science, nor could it be. Anyway, uh, hit them point blank, and... Uh, hold on. Uh, where's my... There's... Hit them point blank, and you will get a one-shot. Like I said, when you are about to die. You do not need to, uh, you have nothing to prove. Play it safe rather than sorry. You also get more health every time you do it, too, so it's not the end of the world about to do it. Like I said, sometimes the game won't play fair, and sometimes you just have to play it this way. I was in Texas, I'll be doing good today. It's kind of weird as well, because a lot of people might assume, like, Oh, I'm really good, so I don't have to heal. Sometimes you have to. The game won't always be kind to you. Especially in the late game. You are going to want a couple of them. Like, you don't want to use too many, so try to get health if you can, and try to space out with levels and stuff. But if you need to use it, you need to use it. This is why you keep points stashed, and you don't put them into anything that's, uh, you know, cosmetic or additional. Anyway, land in the two shots almost immediately. There might be one more guy, but he's wrecked by zombies. You must kill these guys, by the way. They will tear you apart if you are not careful. Uh, the run's been only fallen today was homecoming, but the second run went perfectly. So, be good. By the way, something else I should mention about this game. Do not underestimate any enemy. I cannot stress this enough. All enemies of Dead Rising 3 are lethal. On Nightmare Mode, they are all lethal. There's not a single enemy in this game that is a, uh, you know, like a jobber. They're, they're all going to get you. Uh, Horde of Zombies will tear you apart late game, and early game even. Um, there were, I, I once had a run that was like, I think like 20 minutes ahead or something, and I died to a cop zombie. Why? They just, they just you know, ganged up on me while I was trying to do a combo weapon, because I didn't respect them. And then they got me. I was like, oh wow, I didn't think they'd do, much, I didn't think they'd do much, uh, that much damage. This game has weird damage scaling. Things aren't going to be a one-to-one -one like, oh, this does this much. Nope, sometimes zombies do way more than they should. Sometimes they do way less and you get lucky. It's not an exact science. Anyway, last but not least, we have to burn the supplies. Do not break this car. Um, you can kind of go around safely if you want. You cannot break this car. You kind of need it. Why? It's stairs. And now we can actually do this. So, one, two, three. Nice. So you don't have to actually go up there and beat it up. You can literally just shoot it and uh, you're gone. I also want to make sure it's three. Um, I will show right here. This is a good save to make. Um, you might not need it. In fact, you probably don't need it. In the rare event you do, you'll be happy you made it. I will show off where saves are and, you know, just in case you want to win this run, you'll know where they are. Reason why is because right now we're entering the Albert fight. Funny enough, Albert has a very funny strat. In the beginning of the game, when I was using the Reaper in that safe house, you notice I grabbed a book. You must grab that book. If you don't notice it, rewind the video. You'll find what I grabbed there. Uh, the book I grabbed is right here and is going to be called Stunt Devil. Uh, this is a fight that strips you of all your weapons. So... You have to fight the guy unarmed. You will have more damage by equipping this book. So just because you got this book, you're now doing increased damage. Anyway, Albert sucks. Uh, this is probably my, one of my least favorite fights in this game. Not my least favorite, but one of my least favorite. Also, you don't get to sprint. So just hit him with it. 
It does a minor amount of damage. Plus, the game gives you a cutscene, so you're not going to be able to actually uh, do anything, so we're going to kick him. It's really stupid. I don't know why, because um, they, it's like, oh, hey, I learned the mechanic. Okay, let's give you a cutscene where you can't take advantage of it. It's like, why? Just let me fight him. So just kick him. Like, you, you almost never get that, and you'll end up eating a hit that hurts a lot more. So that's why I just sort of uh, went to the kick. Oh, there's Albert. You can break it right on him and break it right next to him. Uh, Albert, you okay, buddy? There he is. Anyway, just use his actual mechanic. Are you like playing Saw? Yeah, a little bit. It's funny because a lot of people, like, uh, I made the Dead Rising tier list for the bosses. A lot of people are like, oh, Albert's actually really good. And it's like, no, he's not. He's good once. When you play this game any more than once, Albert sucks. Why? Here's the fight. Break an organ cooler in front of him. Uh, attack him with the animation. Uh, and then, guess what? You get stunned. And then you just don't play the game. Oh, wow, look at this. Like, I've never been able to double them up, and it's pretty sad. Luckily, I'm not having a bad fight. In case you're wondering, by the way, because like I said this fight's pretty easy. Oh, why did you save the save? This looks pretty easy. Do not ever underestimate this game. Because I once had a fight with Albert, or what happened is... While I was trying to grab him, uh, one of his, uh, one of the enemies hit me. Well, one of the, one of the other, like, AI around here hit me. The survivors. They knocked me back and then Albert grabbed me. After I got back into action, they did it immediately again. They stun, uh, the survivors stun locked me. And then Albert just beat, he wailed on me the whole time. Oh, wow, wait, it was this one? Oh, wow. All right, good vibe. Yeah. Yep, that one was so brutal. Like, I remember that I was pissed when I was like, what the... I, I, I've never had Albert kill me like that. So I just know he can. He absolutely can. Anyway, um, honestly, you can use the Reaper for this. So here's something that also I'd recommend grabbing this just in case. Weird, weird, weird news. I, I have no idea why this is. Um, this game has an odd habit. Also, leave through the way I am going because this is going to bring you back to your car. For some reason, the Albert fight can delete your weapons. Like, it deleted my Dragon Punch, and I don't know why it did. But is the game worth casually? Yeah, I like this game. I think this game, you know, has issues from other Dead Rising games, but, like, it's really not bad. Like, I think this game's solid. And then, back to business, the Dodge Charger. 400 horsepower, no credit score. Dodge Charger. Anyway, really quick, we're just gonna drive back to Sunset Hills. I need to play a brief ad here on Twitch. So if you wanna avoid the ads, we have locked Twitch Turbo subbing to the channel. We're just driving back, so we be, be chill. Alright, ready? I'm gonna do it now. Prime Gaming. Okay, here it goes. Yay! Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay, I did it. You drive around for going to Albert? No, I just sort of let the game decide for me. I'm gonna call this good boss design. It's neat. Oh, wait, I should spawn that first. The boss design in this game is not bad. There's something that's uh, to be said about balance of this game. Also, this is the route you'd normally take if you only have a car. Like, how do I put this? Game design doesn't always bank on certain elements. Some people do not envision certain things when they're making a game. Which... A good example is like Sound Downpour. I don't really think they envisioned much on the idea of replayability. They thought about it, but I don't think they thought that hard about it. I'm not saying Downpour is a bad game, but I'm saying a good example is when you replay a game and it's bad, they didn't really think you'd be replaying it probably. They probably wanted you to enjoy it the first time you played it. It's RNG. Well, it's RNG if you don't drop your weapons. By the way, I think we're down the Dragon Punch anyway, so it's not so bad.
Funny enough, I bought this game for my brother when it came out. Uh, I mainly because uh, there wasn't a lot of games on the X-Bone, and he had an X-Bone, and I didn't know what to get him. So I bought him Dead Rising 3. I think he liked it, actually. But even still. Funny enough, uh, while the Reaper is here, we could do something cheeky. But you shall see in a moment, chat, what the strat is. Okay, first things first. We're actually going to be going to the locker. We're going to be grabbing... Shotguns. We only need two. Uh, as well, we're actually going to be swapping back to Fortune Fighter. Uh, and just make sure I'm good. If I had one more level, I'd be perfect. That's bad. Oh, well, that's fine. But yes, you need two shotguns. If you can hold more, it's actually better. But I would like the Reaper for later, so. Yeah, it's fun stuff, Eagle Silver Rain. A new game. It's trippy. Uh, you gave me a beeline to the best run in the game level 5. Oh, this game does the same thing, by the way. If you use the DLC, there's a weapon that is literally like a level 50 weapon. It's busted. It's stupid. That, I literally made the category no DLC. Because of this. That being said, like, on speedrun.com, you can use DLC and you're allowed. Because, you know, I'm not bitch made. I'm not going to, like... I, I'm, I'm taking my own handicap on this. I'm not going to be, uh... You know... I'm not going to say, like, oh, just because you use that. No, no, no. I don't care about leaderboard rank. I care about having a dank yeah. run, which is this. If someone wants to be me in my condition, go for it. Also, we're going to drive around nice and fast. The well, weapon is broken. It's like the queen. Really, all the guns. Like, all the DLC guns are so busted. Like, I play the DLC. They are, like, new game plus weapons entirely. They are wild and strong. They are all broken. I think Chrono World Record uses DLC, and yeah, it's, uh, it's busted. That being said, like I said, I kind of just run my own category, so. Alrighty, so, remember those guns I talked about? There's a reason why we're grabbing them. Another thing, yep, yeah, I like this game. I think it's solid. It's neat. You might not like, you know, it might not be your favorite, but it's not bad. I'm trying to think of only as Jazz Hands being a plus this better gun. I think Jazz Hands might be better, but it's something. I don't remember entirely what it is. Oh, hold on. What? Did that eat my rock? It did. That's funny. Okay. Well made game, chat. Well made game. This game still has flaws. Like, it's still Dead Rising 3. Don't be wrong. Anyway, kill every goon. Or a few goons here. Now comes the fun part. Oh, what? What the? Okay, that's weird. All right. So. <coughs> you run out of zombies? No, you can't run out of zombies in any of the Rising game. You grabbed all the shotguns because you are making the czar. Uh, you don't need the boom cannon anymore, by the way. Uh, in fact, there should be one more assault rifle in here. Okay, yep. Uh, here we come. You literally want as many czars as you can hold. I think Jazz Hands is better, by the way, but, like, it's one of the cases that it's better than anything you get in New Game. Like, New Game assumes you get nothing. Alright, always roll when you enter this hallway. Uh, the reason why is because... Uh, that rock would always go off. Uh, there are bombs on the ground. Jump jump over them. Uh, this guy's always here. Honestly, just, just hit him. Now, one of the downsides is that if I had one more level, this boss, if I didn't have to do my heal, I would have actually done this faster. Uh, the reason why is because the next level I get, I get to upgrade my damage. Ready? All right, uh, you're just gonna get uh, run up to her and unload. Ideally, you want to have this kick motion and just stay in range. Um, she'll try to hit you, but won't be able to. 
and just constantly shoot her. Uh, she'll jump out. That's bad. Where is she? Where the hell is she? Where the hell did she go? Uh, oh, there you are. All right, she's in her face too. By the way, roll immediately. Kill her goons. She is absolutely dumb enough to fire in point blank range, by the way. All right, and Hilda's dead. That was a really good fight, uh, despite everything else that went with that. Nice. All right, cool. I will take that. By the way, there's a car. Just take the car. I mean, absolutely, I like that works. Mood, mood. I don't know about the Cerberus ones. I'm not too sure. I never played Destiny. I am a, uh, as they say, a pleb. By the way, I like how Hilda gives no experience. Oh, thank you for recommending the Czar. The Czar was along the way. You can, but like, it was along the way. They better be here. But you are right. You not use it. True. I didn't use it as much. I, I think I swapped over to the boss weapon instead of just staying with it. Anyway, we're gonna jump off the cliff. Why? It's kind of funny. Okay, so what we're heading to now is Ingleton, top left. Hi, right, Mega Sauce. Thank you for the Prime Game for nine months. Enjoy the emote scissors and the Twitch baby, and cheers. I'll be doing good. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Okay, Chad. We're going to be heading nice and easy over to Ingleton. Uh, the reason why is because we're actually going to be having our next boss fight over in Ingleton, and this is the perfect time to do it. We're going to be fighting Darlene. Darlene's a pretty easy fight, um, mainly because we're going to have some strong stuff. Well, Jazz Hands is actually still really good if we have it. Um, the Reaper entirely got only phased out uh, for farming, and then the Czar is good up until... Well, I mean, if you have Czars in the endgame, use them, but... Ideally, you prefer Jazz Hands for, uh, everything, uh, everything that you can use it for. Jazz Hands are good. Also, I'm, like, driving on butter. My god, this game doesn't know how to drive sometimes. Alright, train out. Thank you. Alrighty, now comes the fun part. Before I do anything else, you know what I'm gonna do? Get out of the car. Why? Time to farm. I actually want to heal. Nice and easy. Yep, Hemlock new game. We want to get Jazz Hands. Funny enough, I actually routed in MMA gloves so we can get another Jazz Hands there. Not reaping? You know what they say, you reap what you sow, chat. By the way, I should mention one more thing. Uh, there is a combo counter. I do apologize that my head is blocking it on the game on on the screen. Um, it doesn't mean much in terms of viewing. However, it's something that you want to keep in mind that if you drop it, you will lose some experience. So the longer you can keep this combo counter up, the better. Meaning you want to get the most usage out of your Reaper. I just brought my combo. Oh my god. Well, all my friends at least love the lowrider. Is that Nelly Q? Hope you're doing good today. My voice is dying. I have been talking for about seven hours. Pretty hard, actually. Been working hard. All right. 
right. Uh, actually, I'm going to make something different here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this car and we're gonna go right back here. Our broken man might be. All right. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of that. All right, and we're gonna grab a uh, full Reaper, uh, Super Combos, Ultimate Reaper. Uh, we are now going to upgrade fully into range damage, and now I have enough for Darlene. So this is a mixture of things. Part one, you still have time to farm because it is 10 minutes, but two, you need to manage farming with the boss fight. If you take too long, well, you know, you lose time. And then, you know, if you don't farm enough, it's gonna come back to bite you later. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go right here. I'm gonna get my Reaper out. I'm gonna go in this pocket. The more, the better. Now, you wanna absolutely farm zombies. You can see that bar climbing? That's what we want. In case you're wondering, best strat, find a big horde and stand in it. And spin the wind, baby. You're a top lane main now. There we go. I might be making a few zombie puns. See. All right, dude. I almost got 300, by the way. Go 300. All right, cool. I'll take that. Uh, hold on, one more. Let's get this guy. I think. All right, we're farmed out. We're good. Am I really barely off? Wow. What is that? I didn't mean that 2024 should be the year of edging. I said we're not going to be edging anymore. Anyway, you can make the save there for Darlene. I'm not going to do it right now, but I just pointed out. Anyway, it's time to fight Darlene. Uh, with Darlene, you are going to shoot her repeatedly. Chat, I can't believe it. Is that... Is that hit mukbang YouTuber Nico Kato Avocado? I'm, I'm a huge fan. Anyway, Darlene is a disgusting boss fight. Uh, she is a uh, competitive eater who came to Los Angeles to eat. Uh, the best strategy here is use the czar and dive out of the way when you need to. Guns are so good for Darlene. Fighting Darlene previously was so bad. But once you started using uh, the Czar, a sister was right. Uh, I do remember fighting Darlene without the Czar. And it was bad. It was really bad. You'd almost always get into QT fights. Alright, Darlene is now dead. Yeah, I can't believe it. it's the healthiest American citizen. <laughs> She's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God jumped out of that. All right, get away, you. All right, is my car still here? By the way, fun fact, zombies can just decide to beat up your car sometimes. So the last thing you must do before that fight, the last thing you must do is go to the safe house. Also, chat, I want to take a quick moment to celebrate body positivity because there's nothing wrong with being heavy. I have been heavy and I think I am still heavy. However, uh, just don't ever hit the point where you're killing a man for food. Like, uh, well, at least in a, uh, you know, when there's bountiful food. Actually, no, no, okay, I can't advocate for you killing a man, so don't kill a man for food. I don't think any people should be made fun of just because they're large, but Darlene killed a man for food, which is why she gets made fun of. Be good people, Chad. Anyway, the whole reason we do this is because we actually want to take Lone Blade. 
Uh, this is a skill here. Also, let's see what we're doing on the combo locker. Combo locker fully stored. That's going to be really good for us. Means I can get another Reaper. I throw my old Reaper. And I will actually make a save just in case. Well, if you want to eat the man, don't eat men. Cannibalism is bad. Anyway, it is now time to farm once again. Uh, honestly, I'm going to farm out both Reapers here. It is a minor time loss if you go over, but it's going to be kind of worth it. I might at least farm out one Reaper. Oh, there you go. No, I farm out both. We good. Yeah, definitely farm out both Reapers. Okay. Crap, do not eat another human being. That is bad. I really have to say that more often than not. Okay, that's good. By the way, if you're wondering when you're done, uh, Nick will say it in the bottom left. He'll say something like, oh, I bet Nick has the fuel now, or something like that. Uh, I probably should just be heading straight back to Sunset Hills. Uh, I'd probably gold if I did. But I, I want to be like, a little bit safe. get big farming in here. Right, cool. There should be a car around here. And I think I know where it is. Alright. Well, all done farming, and now we are going to take the Dodge Charger right back here. Yep, there it is. Okay. See, yeah, I was right. I, I had a feeling, but I played it more safe than sorry, just in case. Has there been charged with cannibalism? Yes, they have. There's a British court case about this. People have been charged with cannibalism. They actually have. Uh, let's see, since 22, we weren't very heavy with my height. I lost a lot of weight since college. Uh, last time you saw me, I was probably like mid 180. I'm a little bit heavier than I like. Really, like actually, I'm still about mid 180 right now. Um, and then when I was in college, I weighed 220. Or at the end of college, by the, I think no, by the time I worked full time, yeah, no, by the end of college, I was about 220. Epic player, thank you for the Prime Gaming for 32 months. It's all good. Thank you very much, and cheers. And yeah, you saw the first time I was pretty big. We the follow as well. Charger Gaming, thank you for the follow as well. Alright, hold on. Uh. Uh, they can't avoid it. Yeah, there was a famous court case that came up with cannibalism in, I think, the UK. Alrighty. And now we're making some progress. That same as you, barely taller than you. Hey, you installed it. Like, I, I acknowledge myself. Like, I'm... Like, I'm definitely better. I'm not, I'm not... I'm not bad. But, like, you know, I, I, I would like to lose some weight. I always like uh, the ability to try to better myself. Make sure I don't uh, lose control. Control is the good thing, you know? I'm actually going to skip that split. Okay. It is now time for the next boss. Which jet? Let's go into this. Okay, range, piercing bullets. Upgrade that fully. Uh, as well, book, go back to firearms. We care about firearms again. Uh, attributes now. We can actually uh, start doing a little bit more. We can actually go into sprints. That's about it. Uh, and we can do do one in melee, I think. Melee is gonna be good for later, so you do want to have a little bit of melee. This one's mine. I'll take it. How's it going? So I still want to always make sure I have enough for at least one or two healths. It is very important. 
Oh, what else about winter? I live in California. I've survived many a winter, so I think, I think I'm okay, chat. I don't think I have trouble surviving the winter. So, uh, it'll, it'll be okay, chat. All right, so funny enough, from what I remembered, I actually remember this being a strat. Ready? Chat, I have a really cool strat I invented. Okay. So, another survivor spawns in, and having a roller hog gives you free experience. I actually discovered this when I was, um, I was riding the co-op room of Maliku, and, uh, I realized, like, wait a minute, if I have, like, roller hog, I can get so much experience. I because we're also doing the time skip mod for this, and you not have any time to block. Time skip gives you zero time to block. You need to find time to block. And the best way of doing that is the roller hog, because you can clear out big loops very quickly with that. And they can give you big, big XP. Uh, the other Chat, don't commit a cannibalism. I'm not even speaking legally. I'm really saying it will straight up fuck with you if you do it. It is like. It will fuck with you both physically and mentally. Committing a cannibalism is very, very bad. <laughs> At best, you'll suffer from Prion's disease. Now on that, you'll do psychological damage you'll never recover from. Oh Alright, there you go. Save free experience. Well, I need a brain. Psychological damage you'll never recover from. I don't remember why I went this way first. Or chat, hear me out. Don't eat another human being. There we go. It's pretty easy if you ask me. Pretty uh pretty easy uh goal right there, huh? Anyway, chat, 400 horsepower, negative credit score. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I messed up somewhere along the line, but it'll be alright. Oh uh, god. I don't know, hold on, I don't know, I don't know. I could have taken the lower path and I could have immediately gone to sex shop. It's my time. And I get more experience this route, but it's not the end of the world. Taking the lower path would have immediately gotten you to uh, Dylan Puentes, who's gonna be our next fight. Also known as Lux. It's yourself? I mean. I'm, I have there's no legality on you eating yourself. I just don't recommend it Also at this point in the game you can see why vehicle push was so important Chats it is a very simple, don't commit a cannibalism. But you can rationalize cannibalism all you want. I merely am saying, probably don't commit a cannibalism. Some of you apparently already want to, and I'm not gonna, you know, at that point you're just kind of arguing that you want to and justifying it. I don't recommend it. I'm gonna leave it at that, you're kind of forcing me on this. Anyway, this fight is actually really easy. At this point, we have buffed our gun entirely and have a... Okay, oh, hey, hold on. I cut the right book, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, you just kind of melt him. Now, you don't actually do the mechanic. He just sort of melts. And dead. Alright, make sure you take his gun. His gun actually does do some tech we need later. And it is used against a, a couple of bosses. He has a sh shockingly good gun. Also, do not break the car you took here. 
plus mechanic, you shoot him repeatedly. The mechanic he normally does is you have like pole dance and then you distract him, but you just beat the shit out of him in this case. And giving the mechanic of the gun, it's going to allow us to cheese some bosses pretty heavily. As well, there's gonna be a boss fight that we straight up were able to, like, you know, bypass everything because the gun's really uh, effective what it wants to do. Alright, and I get a car, and we are good to go. So that's what it is. HDBSD. Morning, Candy Quartz. Hope you're doing good. Oh my god. Hope you're doing good today. Alright, so, this part you're supposed to, like, break in. Uh, you can just drive right through. It's pretty easy, actually. Do not mash the button, by the way. Uh, it will pick up the guns you don't want. Alright, that guy's dead. We're not gonna go through here. Generators will actually die in one shot now. And with piercing bullets. Well, that didn't actually go through. There we go. That's more like it. I'm pretty sure a drop, a bullet dropped off happened, which is fun. Anyway, I have no idea why this is, and I don't really know how to describe this. But the upcoming boss fight has like a weird damage immunity from the Czar, and it's really strange. So what that means for us is that if you try using the Czar, he won't actually take realistic damage. So the best way of doing it is by getting out the uh, the cock and ball cannon. Now first things first, make sure you switch from cock mode to ball mode. Uh, it defaults to cock mode, you need ball mode, also known as ice and fire. Then just uh, fire at him. By the way, that's 225 ammo and it deals solid damage. This guy just has a weird thing that he just doesn't take a lot of damage from the Czar, and I don't know why it is. Like, if you double team him on the Czar, it's good, but like, otherwise, just hit him with the cock and ball cannon until he dies. Also, known with the cock and ball torture! Haha, <laughs> get it? Ah. By the way, this guy doesn't even get a cup, he just dies. It's like Brutal Legend, dies. That guy can really take some, he can really take some CBT if you know what I mean. Alrighty, anyway, we are now out of there. I don't see a Dodge Charger, so we'll take the taxi. Alrighty, at this point, we're now gonna be making our way over to Central Storage. This is one of the only parts of the game where if you mess up in driving, it is an immediate game over. I'm going to visit Brutal Legend soon. We did Brutal Legend during the Wheel of Games, and then I got vetoed partway through. I do need to revisit Brutal Legend at least once, because I don't have a YouTube video. Because, uh, it blocked it. Because Ozzy Osbourne sucks. Yeah, it's cool music, but he blocks all the videos. Ah, that was my party pumper. By the way, for anyone watching this on YouTube, I have a Brutal Legend speedrun. It was waiting, and I didn't want to have a muted mess of a game, so I probably need to run the game with, like, a free Metal OST soundtrack instead, because there's a lot of copyright music, but it's not the fact that I'm not getting ad revenue. It's the fact that um, Ozzy Osbourne songs and a couple other ones quite literally prevent me from uploading the video. Like, it blocks the video straight up. Uh, it's only Ozzy Osbourne tracks and one other band I don't remember. But it was like three Ozzy Osbourne tracks and they all blocked the video. There's actually some bands that are incredibly based that share ad revenue. And I thought that was cool. And um, those are fine. That's why. Also, thank you for the follow. Chat, I'm pretty sure one person unfollowed me. Because I said Ozzy Osbourne sucks. Which in all fairness, if you, you know, if you block... It's like two minutes of a song in a, a two hour video. I'm definitely going to say someone sucks because they block an entire YouTube video for a two-minute song. It's not even stealing ad revenue. It's just straight up, I can't have the video. Anyway, you get the keys and you immediately go to the door, and this is the fuel car. If the car breaks, uh, it's an immediate game over. Do not break this car. This is why the oak push matters. 
fucked up. I like Ozzy Osbourne's music, and I, you know, I thought he was a cool dude, but... Maybe it's a record label. It could be the record label. In fairness, I guess it's like, what, probably like two minutes? Either way. Brutal Legend, I'm going to have to get a re-recording of it with no music, because, I mean, I can't manually turn off one Ozzy Osbourne track. I mean, I guess I could play Daytona over it, but like... It's one of those things where I don't know exactly when it is. Good turn, by the way. I'd rather just have everything muted and then use a free soundtrack, because that makes a lot more sense. Because, you know, if I, you know, if I mute everything, then I can have actual lot revenue. Ooh. Or it's Jawson. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate. I like how I don't Let ever remove that me. alert. There are Thank you, for the, thank you for the 10 and gifted subs. Going to uh, Azure Horizon, Cash Baller, uh, OG Had, Grape Cats, uh, Voxel, uh, Amadi Zaster, Badger Nirvana, Blinding Torments, uh, Mary What the Duck, and Hench. Enjoy the most sincere. Thank you very much, Boris Johnson. Enjoy the number one for the month. I think I have the number one badge now. At least for now. I don't know, chat. With that, the full car. Fuel cars back to the plane. Just make sure you stay in the car and park it here. It's actually kind of annoying. Do you think you can get out of here? But then it works. Welcome. Yeah, I hope you've been good. Good to see you. Boris Johnson Twitch chat is a kind person. They've been a good member of the community. I mean, in hell. Lollipop Chainsaw is nice because the music... Alright, so Lollipop Chainsaw is a good example of a video in the past that I've uploaded that I keep the music in. The reason why is because Lollipop Chainsaw allows me to actually, um... I don't lose the recording. I can upload it, and while I don't get ad revenue, you get all the music. And it's, yeah, it's surprisingly nice. Like, chat, this isn't... Like, oh, Geisus is greedy for ad revenue on YouTube, and he won't upload a video because of it. No, it's a, I, I, I want to upload the video, it just, it shit won't let me. I have Chainsaw for the Explain video, I use Lo-Fi Hip Hop. Be, all right. Yeah, I think I use Lo-Fi, because I did want to add revenue on that. I'm putting a lot more effort into Explain video. Um, for basic runs of the game, I think my uh, world record at the time has all the audio, I think, though. Because I really wanted the audio. Anyway, right now we are entering the worst fight of the game. Well, not actually, but like, the guy sucks. Entering the worst guy of the game. Here's Diego. His fight's pretty okay. Diego himself sucks. Remember, Diego sucks. If you want to learn anything, remember, Diego sucks. Mainly yeah, because his fight doesn't need to happen. Like, you ever you ever hear the phrase we used around lately? Is he stupid? Yes, Diego is really fucking stupid. And we don't like him. Anyway, how am I doing on inventory? I wonder. Let's see really quick. Do I have an assault rifle? I don't remember. Um, I do. So, fun fact, by the way. Uh, this area has both assault rifles and shotguns. What does that mean? Wait, what? 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 Oh, there. It's under the car. I love that for me. Anyway, if you go to this area, you will always be able to find cops with the uh, shotgun. Why did it vanish? And the shotgun then allows you to make another Zarp. I may have been able to, but honestly, at this point, I was cool just grabbing another one. It is wise to have another Zar going forward, because we're going to have a few fights. Uh, and also, you can get another car here. Lamborghini. So. Yeah, Diego's a weird character. He doesn't contribute to anything. He is a boss fight. He steals the keys. He loses the keys. And then he dies. He, he just dies. He doesn't solve anything, he just dies. Like, Diego's big trait is reminding you that Nick was an orphan. Like, that's his grand export of being a man. Reminding the main character he's an orphan. By the way, Diego further sucks, because be very careful running in here. Do not try to brute force this room. There is a glitch that will happen. Also, the shotgun's in this room, too. There's a glitch that will happen. Where Diego will prevent you from moving. 
I don't know why this is. It's something with both his character model and it's something also with the um, cutscenes happening. It forces you back and you can be like running on a treadmill. It's really stupid. Anyway, speaking of Diego being stupid, this is going to be funny. Because um, you don't have to engage with the mechanics. Shoot him repeatedly. Just keep shooting him. He has a lot of health. Oh my god, look, we can hit him on the ground. How are we going to hit him? Just keep shooting him. We do so much damage now. Oh, so hold on. Did I... I did, okay. Just making sure we have Fortune Fighter, okay. I'm trying to remember if I swapped off or not. I'm pretty sure like, I didn't, but still. Anyway, whenever he's on the ground, keep shooting him. Uh, there is actually a speedrun strat you can do. You get really lucky. Um, it happens quite often, uh, but you are able to actually break his AI entirely. It tends to happen like that. I think I got it. Maybe. Oh, I got it. Hey, look. Okay, so the strategy is to keep shooting him. If you shoot him right when he hits the ground, uh, he'll do this, uh, which is good. Ideally, you want that happening. Whoa, Diego, what the hell was that? We're gonna talk about damage in this game being really stupid. By the way, I'm pretty sure, like, all right, I could be wrong. He may have done more damage to me over time. I wasn't paying attention. I'm pretty sure, like, I am almost 99% sure he almost brought me 100 0. Wait, I'm gonna go back. One moment, really quick. Uh, um. They melted me? Uh, like I said, Diego sucks. If it does great, do you at least get into that ad revenue? Uh, I mean, all right, so if a video does great and gets ad revenue, like, yeah. Honestly, the better a video does, the more ad revenue I get. Admittedly as well, it's kind of weird because me uploading my normal videos does surprisingly decent, mainly because uh, I have really long videos and people like watching all of it. So thank you, Chad. Thank you, everyone. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I'm glad you've been enjoying everything. Uh, it is very much appreciated. Oh my god. I don't make the most consistent YouTube content. I haven't tried to do better. By the way, right here. Um, it's okay if the car breaks. As funny as that sounds. Uh, the reason why is because the roads are getting blocked. Also, more importantly, we're going to take out the Lamborghini shop. Sorry, you gotta find out this way. I can't believe it. Alrighty, so the strategy here is to totally ignore Diego, and you're going to kill every gang member you see. Uh, it's the, uh, the gang from earlier. Um, headshot will kill him pretty easily. Just a swift headshot. Headshot's, by the way, pretty generous. Should be one more guy, right? Yeah, there. Okay. This is going to sound a little bit odd. Take a regular motorcycle. You don't need the roller hog. You need a regular bike. Hopefully, Diego won't follow me. Uh, the reason why is because you can squeeze through here with that. All right. Anything but the Lamborghinis, right? Uh, patch blue out of the map. Plaster. Aww. So, we are now hitting the late game. And let me tell you why Dead Rising 3 tends to suffer. In a game entirely designed around... Also, we're going to take a roller hog, because now we can take it. In a game entirely designed around driving around a massive city and being able to drive vehicles, it kind of sucks when half of your vehicle options go away, because zombies are going to murk you on a motorcycle that's not the roller hog, and they might even do it on the roller hog. And also, all the roads start getting blocked, and you need to learn new roads. Roads you've learned throughout the game, yeah, they get blocked. The game at this point decides, hey, no roads allowed anymore. Which is quite unfortunate. Alright, there we go. Alright, pretty clean. Pretty clean. Coming away nice and easy. Nice and easy. Roller hog is good for this. Alright. 
Trying to make sure I avoid too many zombies. Then we're good to go. Funny enough, you may have noticed uh, if you have a keen eye. It's not a bad game, uh, Dan the Lame. The only real problem, all right, so here's the problems in this game. One, the color palette's all brown and gray. It's kind of the the, the last of the uh, that era of gaming where everything is brown and gray. I don't know why. Uh, the other things about this game. One, it is a constant 30 FPS. If you're an FPS gamer, it's 30 FPS. It's quite unfortunate. I think there might be some mods to unlock it. You can look those up, but uh, natively, the game runs at 30 FPS. Uh, as well, I mentioned the other thing, but the game starts closing around you as a world, so... You have to take different roads, and the main mechanic gets kind of tedious when you have to drive so much further than already before, because the game starts blocking for no reason. I feel like one thing of zombies blocked it, but like, there's one part where like, a military brigade just takes over a whole major road, so you have to like, that road just gone. X1 launch shuttle, yep. Huh? And honestly, if you have an interest, I would say play it. There's no harm in trying it. Especially if you buy it on sale. I think it goes on sale pretty frequently, so. Get on sale. Alrighty, so here's the thing, Chad. In the past, I would fight uh, Jerry, uh, one of the next bosses coming up. I would fight Jerry during a part coming up. However, I have since changed the route a little bit. Uh, the reason why was because I realized that if I fight Jerry now, I can also have grass blood. Uh, if I fight, oh wait, bum bum. Ooh, that'd be bad. Uh, if I fight Jerry now, oh my, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually messed up, luckily I have time. We're during the wait time, we're currently in the waiting time. Waiting, Dead Rising 2 is better than this game. We have time to wait anyway, and during this time frame, you don't get a farm. You can kill both Jerry and uh, Teddy, though. Theodore Le uh, Lagerfeld Jr. Oh, sir, and play it nice and safe. Correct, by the way. The, the order of Dead Rising games from best to worst are one, two, three, four. Off the record, you can count the same as two. If you want to count all the side games, one, two, three, four. And then put all the side games after that. Except for off the record, which would be along with two. Off the Record is its own games. Is its own game. The main thing about Off the Record is that it ends up being a patch notes. Like, it's always weird to me because a lot of people are like, oh, Dead Rising 2 is so much better. Off the Record fixes a lot of the issue de uh, issues Dead Rising 2 had. In fact, they add some uh, fun flair if you like Frank too. It's pretty well balanced between the two ideas. And people are like, oh, I like the story more than play Dead Rising 1. Oh, I like the gameplay more than play Off the Record. I want both. Play Dead Rising 1. By the way, uh, I think I have enough, right? Let's see. Uh, we can play it safe. We're gonna play it nice and safe. So, here's what we shall do. I'm going to really quick. We're gonna go in here. Bobby? Bobby. K0 is the best Kishortis. K0 is genuinely really good, but it's totally a DLC. Anyway, we're gonna grab me combo weapons. Guess what? You're buying the Czar. Just buy a bunch of Czars. All you want is the Czar. I demand the Czar. Give me the Czar. But keep the cock and ball cannon. Also, chippies. Ah, so Bobby will be doing good. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Alrighty, I'm making a save again. Oh, wait, hold on. There I had another Czar, didn't I? Uh, good. Oh, and there's seven bullets. Why did I do that? Yeah, it's fine. Screw it. Wait. There we go. 
Oh, wait, you're right for GDQ. What does R stand for? I think it's Zombie Assault Rifle. I could be wrong. Admittedly, I don't think I ever used the Zar casually, so I just, uh, I never really used it. Zombie Annihilation Rifle. Might be bad. Now, you know what the weird part about, uh, I have a weird fact, by the way. You ever heard about a, uh, since we're talking about acronyms and gun, you ever heard a gun called an AR-15? It's not Assault Rifle, it's Armalite, I think. Rifle. Which, it's the name of, like, the brand or something like that. It's kind of weird. Star? That would be funny if it was. Yeah. Anyway, is this car gonna last? I think it will. Teddy should be spawned in. Yep, there he is. Okay, and we're actually gonna be exiting this car. Dodge Charger muscle car. Yeah. So, there you go. By the way, fun fact, we're gonna put the car right here. We're gonna need this car later, but you... Wait, no, I went the wrong way. Eh, it's like minor. A uh, little bit more. There we go. That's where I wanted to be. Right there. And then, uh, there is absinthe. Chat, this is a speed run, so you can drink absinthe. However, if you actually try absinthe, it is like deep throating, uh, black licorice. Do you like black licorice? You might like, uh, absinthe. Do you not like black licorice? You're not gonna like absinthe. I was okay with it. Mainly because I was listening to Porta's head, and, uh, it's very fitting. But absinthe won't make you trip balls anymore. That was something called wormwood, and they don't really do that anymore because they found out wormwood was poisoning people, and health and pra safety practices have since changed. Anyway, now it is time for uh, Teddy. This is the sloth boss fight. We're going to trivialize this whole fight with the power of cock and ball. So, here's what's gonna happen. Immediately rush his door. It's right behind you. You find out it's locked. All right, that starts the uh, starts the event. Fire at the sigils. How are you still alive? Game? What? This is weird. Okay, you know what? Let's uh. Let's play a little bit differently. That's weird. Oh, I'll get that one later. Anyway, there we go. So the cock and ball cannon. Uh, should be able to break these through the walls. So what you can normally do is you can kind of just shoot and it'll do that. For some reason, this one wasn't activating and I don't know why it didn't. I'll try it again one more time underneath. If it doesn't work, I'll just go from above. There we go. Wait. All right. And that's the boss fight. Oh no, I went to cock mode! I need uh, ball mode, there we go. Alright, and Sloth is done. No, I, I mean there's a difference. Alcohol is a poison effect, but it's not like a... Like, different. Poison effect of alcohol was, like... Not to the point of absinthe. Like, they had to change the Wormwood formula thing for a reason. Like, it was... I don't remember exactly what it was, but like... It was much worse. No, do not drink Epicac. They'll make you throw up. Anyway, that was the sloth fight. It's, it's a fight. And now that we're here, what we're gonna do is we're immediately gonna go down to the gym, and now we can begin the pride fight. Uh, pride's actually a pretty tough fight. Uh, funny enough, uh, since it's New Game Plus exclusive, we don't get to do it in New Game, because I think the melee power doesn't actually happen until level 50. So you must be level 50 to do it. But there's a strategy you can do where you can actually get the, um, also yes, Pride Fight. You can get a bouncing ball in the room, and you can throw it at Jerry, and she explodes. She just dies. 
like this rubber ball right here, like the exercise ball. I don't know why it works the way it does, but it ends up being a monster fight. Anyway, for us, um, Zar and uh, don't get hit. It's actually a pretty technical fight. Uh, if you do want to play it safer, Cock and Ball Cannon is good at stunning her. However, for the most part, um, just play with the Zar. Uh, it's going to be most of your damage here. She's really good at uh, taking damage from the Zar. But also, she'll throw a lot of weights at you. Carries a fight where getting the weights is okay. Uh, there's plenty of healing in the arena, and also your own, you know, levels that you've been saving, if you have been saving them. Uh, her, like, she's a grappler, so uh, the grapples are going to be kind of wild. I almost got her. This is one of my favorite fights in the game, by the way. Like, it's actually a fight, and it's not just a, uh... Talk and ball him to death. So, the Exponed Voice commands, I hear are neat, but I don't know how well they would be in an actual speedrun. If only for the fact that the Exponed Voice commands would require you to be on an Exponed, or even a Series X, which probably wouldn't have better load times than, uh, PC. Game. Can you like let me out? Okay, that was scuffed. That was really scuffed. Exactly. I showed her as the boss of this gym. I should have told her that the leather club is two blocks down. Alright, uh let's see here. So actually, uh, a drink and distilled solution, and then use absinthe. Ooh. Hold on a minute. Uh, use absinthe, uh, so use natural uh, for spice. Wait, so why do people not do wormwood anymore? I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If you told me I can hallucinate by drinking absinthe, I would 110% drink absinthe. Like, I, dude, I wanna meet the green fairy. But, like, I don't think I can do that anymore, right? Like, isn't there something, like, there's a health reason, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know this because I hate absinthe. I know this because I wanted to drink absinthe at one point in my life, and I know I can't drink absinthe. At least in the way I'd want to. I'd use an X-Bone, uh, especially when we connect. Maybe. I mean, either way. Uh. What's the word? He sees. Oh my god! Can I flip back over, please? What the? What is wrong with this game? The Dodge Charger flipped. I can't drive for five seconds without something happening, man. Knowledge of shenanigans. Drugs are bad. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Anyway, the one documented case was the reason why that happened? Because I know, like, straight up, they don't uh, make absinthe with wormwood anymore. It's, like, straight up not distilled with it anymore. I play on PC. Port is okay. Watch out for the reefer madness. I, you know, I will keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out for reefer madness. Also, chat, you like the way Nick eats fish and chips? He just dubs the plate into his face. Alrighty, chat, so this mission, uh, I do probably need to play an ad, I think? Maybe? No, you can do it after. Okay, no way. Wait, well, no, nah, I'll do it now. I'll be better now. Alright, chat, I need to play an ad. We're gonna be heading over to the collector's house. We're gonna collect some stuff. It's like part grabbing. It's pretty straightforward. If you want to avoid it, add block to server over the channel on the Twitch side. Alright, ready? Okay, doing it now. Prime Gaming, here it goes. Alrighty, so at this point, I should mention right now, if it hasn't become obvious, whenever you are going to Sunset Hills, you are taking Ingleton now. Before, we would actually go through Century City. Uh, now, we have to go through Ingleton. Uh, it is the only route available. So, you must take Ingleton. 
As well, you want to take the upper route. The lower route will block your car. For the Subaru Singleton, you can either take the uh, the right coming up right now, and that will take you to the lower side, or you take the upper side because this way will prevent you from losing the car. That's true. That's true. Hydrogen is still deadly flammable. Gotcha. Blimps are bad? I mean, chat, when was the last time you saw a blimp, huh? Uh, it's been a while, actually. I remember the last time I saw a blimp. Maybe a few years ago? I mean, it's a genuine question. I don't remember the last time I saw a blimp. You're kind of freaking me out, man. Also, um, tech-wise, motorcycles at this point are risky. You can drive them. They can even save you a bit of time if you drive well. Problem is, though, if you get swarmed by zombies, the motorcycle will slow and you'll get torn to pieces, and then you will die, or you'll need to dip into reserve. So, in order to avoid that, uh, don't. Simply use a car. Take this car, um, or Dodge Chargers. Why? I don't know, they're nice. That was the last time we looked in the mirror. But you weren't flying, were you? I, I'm not. I'm not even. How are you flying? I know you're being self-deprecating, but I'm more wondering how are you flying? That's my question. Alrighty, almost in. Okay, uh, we can probably make a roller hog. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be risky, but I think I'll be okay with it. Preferably, if I can find an actual car, I would like an actual car, but the roller hog will do the job in a pinch. Okay, now comes the part I probably should have prepared for. This part of the game, warning, is lethal. Do not button mash anything. Shit. Also, health is downstairs. In fact, we're going to take a steak for safety. Uh, once you enter this room, zombies are on the ground. You can ignore them. So, here is the thing. Having a Reaper or a Queen would actually be really good here. I kind of didn't grab one. But, in the final room, you will have to kill all the zombies. Then you'll have to remove a painting and activate a cutscene. The problem with this is there is a glitch that will happen that if you do not play it properly, there is a zombie that will murder you entirely while you're in an animation or a cutscene even. And you'll go 100 to 0 in the cutscene. There's also the idea of freezing in the cutscene. So do kill all zombies. Do not mash. So get rid of the painting. That's it and push it once and then wait. When the cutscene starts, then you can skip it. Do not mash it at all early. Thank you for your verification. It'll work every time if you do that. Damn it. Where are they? All right. Shooting that thing will remove the box. That's gonna be good for later. By the way, weapons do not matter right now. Feel free to go wild on the shots. You do need to grab these in order from uh, you know, the, uh, the rubber arm. Uh, then it'll be this thing. That's actually why I shot that first. So I'll have time to dissipate, I guess is the word I would use. It vanished, so let's go with dissipate. And then the last one will be in the back. Now, I've done this before. And uh, again, if you make this mistake, I will laugh at you. Read the note. If you do not read this note, what will happen... Oh, not you. You. If you do not read that note you will not get the actual item to spawn in the game. Meaning, you will have to go all the way back here. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said, even the roller hog's not exactly safe at this point. However, I'm hoping that it'll be fast. There are cars coming up that we can use. Uh, realistically, just don't drop your speed and use fire. I haven't really talked about it, but fire is pushing X. So... 
You don't even know you'll go 5% BFD. Wondrous, I hope you're proud of me, by the way. Also, for anyone who watches me on YouTube and plays Classic WoW, Season of Discoverer right now. My, my Warrior, I have the best groups in the world. My Priest, I have had two distinct groups where I've had to tell people how to run the dungeon. I had, I like, I literally got told thanks to the carry Priest because I had to tell people how to play the dungeon. And, like, I, they never did it before. And, like, oh, that's fine. I joined groups that are advertising, you know, experience. I'm like, okay. No one's ever going to tell you they don't have experience. I don't mind him being new. But, like, there was one guy who wouldn't move. But I'm not saying you should know how to play every video game ever made. But I'm saying if there are shadow demons actively, you know, approaching you, maybe don't let them hit you, right? I stopped healing a mage because he was stupid. Purple is bad? Yes, if you're in a dungeon and purple is bad, don't walk into purple. It's that easy. But the mage literally wouldn't move, and then the moment he died, he DM'd me saying, Res me. I let him die first immediately every time. Why? I didn't want to waste mana. Anyway, back to Dead Rising. Uh, you go here, you grab the item. And then what's going to happen is we are now just going to head back to the plane. At this point, it's a simple way back. Don't worry about your weapons. I mentioned earlier, you can kind of use whatever you have. Um, the reason why, because at this point, there are going to overwrite everything you took. Remember when I mentioned melee is kind of good? Yeah, this is why. However, range will still be good too. He's not worth my mana. The dude literally died every time. I healed better people and surprisingly enough, when I stopped healing him, we won. Someone's gonna stand in the fire and then immediately deal me to res them. By the way, they didn't buff me. I, had, I was a mage and I asked him, hey, can I get a buff? He just stared at me. The worst part is that even if he did buff me, I don't think he leveled that up. I, he had, it said two. I think he had rank one. Meaning the dude never wanted to help anyone. Which I, I you know, not everyone's gonna be amazing in a game. There's actually, you know, some chat. Really quick, I wanna give a sweet thing. In the same group, there was a druid who DM'd me saying, Hey, this is my first time. I'm kind of lost. So I just, I did a very general without calling anyone out. Hey, this is what happens. That same druid literally won the fucking game. That dude, it was like the final hit on the boss and the whole group wiped. Like, I was, I was very proud to see it. I, like, I, I told him, hey man, good job. I'm proud of you. I DM'd him, he's like, hey. I told him how things work. He had no problem. Why? He actually wanted to learn how to play a game. Anyway, chat, we are now approaching the worst part of the game. Actually, I don't think it's here. I think it's uh, also, hold on. Uh, I have 10 slots. I'm going to have 5 health. Okay, keep 5. Uh, upgrade melee damage. That's going to be good for once. Uh, how about we do this as well, where I get more sprints. Okay, books. You're actually going... Uh, actually, you can keep firearms. But having the melee damage would be nice. So, the electric rake is going to be your best friend. Now, is the electric rake a gun or is it a melee weapon? Yes, it's both. And that's actually really nice. Anyway, grab some weapons. Um, I like grabbing the chemicals. Uh, it'll be good for later. Uh, you can make one acid jar. We actually got this earlier during the, um, the, the greed fight. So if you miss that um, recipe, it is right after that fight is done. Uh, this fight, you're going to be using a rake. Remember how I mentioned you want to have health upgrades? This is the exact reason why. This is the exact reason why this fight is terrible. Anyway, there are two strats. One, walk right up to it and beat it to death. You're intended to hit it from behind, but this way is going to be a little bit more efficient. By the way, I should mention, don't get, don't get grabbed. There we go. It's spinning. Guess what? It's also a gun. That's why the rake's a cool weapon. Uh, make sure you heal in between. Uh, this fight is risky. It is very, very risky to start things off with. Uh, you can also kill this pretty quickly with this. Nice dodge. So, here's a fun fact, by the way, about Dead Rising 3. Some weapons are considered guns. Some weapons are considered melee. If a gun, or if, a, if it has a number on the bottom right, it is ranged, but also it can be melee. What does that mean? 
It means if you break it either way, it will break. However, if you use melee hits, it won't affect ranged hits. Wait, where did I... Equip that back! Thank you! Oh my god! Also, I should have said, uh, let me welcome you to the worst fight in the game. In case you're wondering, it's as bad as it looks. Remember what I talked about? This is why you spec into life as much as you have. In this exact boss fight. It is easily the worst boss in almost any game I've ever played in my life. You're wondering why? It stuns you, it can outright unequip your weapon for some reason. Uh, there is AoE of damage, there are uh, adds. Uh, literally, like, nothing about this fight is good. Even the character sucks. Character is like a CEO who's like, obviously you can't fight her because, you know, I don't think Capcom wants to release a game where you're beating up an old woman in a wheelchair. So what they did is they made you break her machines. And anyway, the fight's done. This fight really sucks. It's never good. This is the exact reason, by the way, you end up saving all that health. All that I did for the past two hours was for that boss fight. Only you can break her legs. The funniest part is that she later... <laughs> she has a line later because apparently she really hates Isabella. So she tells Isabella, I would have taken your legs if they let me. And it's like, what the f***? Why is that a line of dialogue in this game? Or I think it's like, I would have taken your legs if they hadn't stopped me. And I think the intent was that she wanted Isabella to look, ex uh, you know, be like exactly like her. Because she threw acid on her face, she tortured her. And then apparently she wanted to break her legs because, you know, she's confined to a wheelchair. Well, oh, see that cutscene, by the way. That is one of the only cutscenes in this game we get to watch. Because it's at the very end of the game. Anyway, fun part. Uh, we didn't really use too much of the rake. So that's going to be good for us. Uh, if you saw those rations, feel free to heal with them. Yeah, I rank that as the worst fight in my Dead Rising tier list, and it, it easily is. Like, people who play Dead Rising 4, or people who meme on Dead Rising 4 being terrible all the time, I don't think they play Dead Rising 3's boss fights. A lot of the boss fights in this game are really good. Uh, and then you have uh, that one. And that is the worst boss fight I've played in almost any game of my life. It is really, really bad. Dead 4 is more of a weird part where the boss fights don't work half the time, and also the ones that do are kind of on rails. Which is really disappointing. Like, the only boss fight I think that's really amazing, like, you know, not like, you know, a gimmick in that game, is probably going to be the, um... What's the word? Uh, the chick. Uh, what's her name? Military chick. Uh, Fontana. Anyway, this is kind of a level where it all just goes weird. Oh, the power doesn't work. I need to turn the power. Oh, the power doesn't work. I need to fix the power. Oh, I, I don't know where it is. So you just have to go like, it's a fetch thing. You kind of jump from point A, go to point B and all that. The only bad fight for Desert is Calder. Sybil's bad. I don't know if it's meant to be. I've never had that fight cooperate. And I'm saying right now, as easy as that fight is, I don't think it's good. I don't care if the fight's playable and easy. I'd rather take Calder any day of the week. Also, be careful with this with zombies, because they will hit you. Uh, Calder is a fight that works. Also, unlock this door. Uh, the door will be locked if you don't do it. Sybil's the point. Yeah, she's the one with the poison hammer. So Sybil's problem is that she literally doesn't work. You just walk into the fight and she dies. He doesn't move. Like, you just 100 to 0 her. Like, Santa Claus at least has mechanics, which, oh yeah, you know, or Satan Claus, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, like, Santa has mechanics. He has a wave, and then you fight him, and he has actual fight. Uh, Sybil, what she does is she just dies. He just walks out and just stands there. And she, yeah, she's like that mage in BFD. What that mage was, if it started with, your name started with a C. Alright, if you're a mage and you're playing on Crusader Strike and you group with someone called Deed Seaman, fuck you. I'm not healing you ever again. Stop DMing me to res you. I'm not gonna do it. By the way, yes, chat, my priest's name is Deed Seaman. Why? Well, I thought it'd be funny.
Anyway, yeah, this section's pretty easy. Uh, zombies get nearby, hit them with a the, poke them with a the rake. It's a one one poke. Uh, this is really good for avoiding zombies. And uh, Jackson, they are getting two subs. We need to go into hearts, Z's, and insert funny text. Enjoy the emotes on the server. Thank you. Oh, it's not spelled semen like, you know, like cum. It's spelled semen like Simone. Simon, like Pokemon. Simon. Deed semen. But it's pronounced deed semen. And also the play on speed demon. You know, speed demon, deed semen. I thought, it was, I thought it'd be fun. It's spelled demon, like, you know, like demon. And it's because demon sounds kind of like semen. Anyway, I'm going to heal. Uh, this fight's almost done, and uh, we have to work on getting weapons back. Deed semen? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, anyone plays on Contrator Strike, you can, like, I, I, play, I play in general. I play in the mornings. I play at a weird time. That's the main thing. I've been bullying Wonders into playing. I don't have any time to play with Wonders because I don't know when he actually plays. I play. I've been playing with Melly Cube and playing with uh, the Ape or Apes, I should say. Seed Demon, not Speed. I mean, I suppose that's also true, but still. All right, talking Seaman. No, we're talking about as. So I don't remember what it was. I, I think I was complaining about AOE damage and something, or just. I was gonna add something in WoW. I don't remember what it was, but I I played BFD and I was healing, and there was a uh, there was a mage who literally would eat every hit they could. They're they're terrible. Anyway, plot of the game right now. Let's go back to speed tech for a second. We have a couple things to do. One, we have to go to Gary. Uh, the reason why this is all cannon bosses is because Gary is technically a boss fight, but killing Gary locks you out of like I think another boss fight. So the other boss fight is like. The good ending boss, best ending, so do best ending. All right, time for a fun part. What we're going to need now is resources. By the way, just because we haven't done it in a while, if you need to save the game, this porta potty's here the whole time. It's right here. As well, there are motorcycles over here, and there is also a combo weapon. Although, funny enough, I don't actually use the combo weapon because the bikes themselves are kind of nice. By the way, the moment you can trade a car, get a car. The moment you can get a car, don't don't use the bike. Um, unless you are willing to uh, possibly eat a bunch of hits, you want to avoid using the bike. Try your best to weave through zombies or else they will murk you. Anyway, right now we're actually going to be crossing the street. Funny enough, we don't need to quite go to a combo locker because remember that trick I told you about earlier? I mentioned something earlier. And what I mentioned is that if you ever need a czar, there is a group of zombies that are going to be exactly what you need. Gary does not love. Down to clown for no more. Let me know. Let me know. Absolutely let me know, Wonders. Oh, God. Get the hell off. Oh, what are we doing here? There we go. Anyway, let's say I got back into a car. Now, the big thing is... We're going to be fighting uh, Kick, uh, Kenny. So with Kenny, you we're going to be using Zars. However, we don't have any combo lockers. There is one you can unlock nearby. However, slightly faster, what you can do is you can go right over here. Uh, just, you know, feel free to hop over. There's that blockade. Uh, kill, this, kill this man. All right, take his gun. You now have an assault rifle. You want about maybe, let's say, three czars if you can. By the way, you are allowed to fire the guns. Uh, they are going to be able to be just enough to, you know, they don't eat the ammo of the czar. So even if you have an assault rifle with one bullet, it'll be uh, efficient to, uh, you know, you can make a czar with it. There we go. I can actually get rid of the grenades, funny enough. Uh, I will, in fact, for this health. Oh, I didn't need that. Uh, actually, you know what? It might not hurt to have. Uh, or would it? Uh, I'm playing. I'm playing it much safer than I normally would. Okay, hold on. In 
case you're wondering, by the way, why am I going into this bush to clear things up? Uh, there's one time at this exact spot that I uh, decided to make a combo weapon in front of a zombie, and he 100 to zeroed me. And it was the most shameful loss I had, especially considering right here is a save. I had a run die right in front of the save spot, and it mocked me. Anyway, have all your stuff. You're not going to be fighting Kick, Kenny. Uh, in terms of Kenny, in case you're wondering, you only need to win the fight. You don't have to kill him. Um, his fight is technically the... Oh, spare him. One zombie. It was like... It was the group of cop zombies there. I think it was like four. Making the save there is smart. Anyway, right now we have Kenny. Uh, Kenny's fight's weird. He's a Discord mod. Funny enough, his weakness is making combo weapons in front of him. His weakness is also shooting him to death with the Czar. Also, I don't know why being a Discord mod gives him so much health, but like, I want to mention uh, Kenny, the overweight gamer, has more health than Jerry, the... Uh, you know, the, the world record-holding uh, gym rat. Or a bodybuilder, that's a word. I'm trying to think of the word. I can't remember the word. I just want to do one thing that... <laughs> Don't you love Kenny's fight, by the way? This fight's not very good. There's odds. It's kind of funny. You know what the weirdest thing is, by the way? The weirdest thing to me. On YouTube, there are a lot of Kenny defenders out there. A lot of people are like, oh, you rate Kenny too low. Kenny's really good. You know what? I'm going to kill him because of that. I hope you're happy now. After this fight's done, I'm going to gun him down like the animal he is. Why? This fight sucks. I'm going to double down on this. You just shoot him the whole time. He has zombies. I don't like the fact that he has ads. Ads are almost never good. There's not a lot of good fights that have ads in them. And if they do, they're not basic zombies. They tend to be very unique ads that have a mechanic you have to kind of deal with. Anyway, Kenny is now dead. Well, he's not dead yet. You know why? He's gonna be dead now. You like Kenny? Comment that you like Kenny, by the way. Maybe I'll spare him. You know what? All right, Kenny. Oh no, he died! Oh no! I can't believe my bullets just went into him. Actually, I don't think he died. It says he defect. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, he's very dead. Okay. And you know what? I'll sip a brewski to that. That being said, I acknowledge the story beats. I just, as a fight, I don't really like Kenny. And his story, I don't know, I think Kent's more interesting. Anyway, at this point, we're actually doing the main mission of the game, which is you have to find Rhonda. God, there's like no cards, by the way. There's like that street sweeper. I'm gonna take the street, I'm gonna take the, this thing. Screw it, I guess it'll be good enough to give me the Lamborghinis. Of no one followed? Uh, no. What you just do? You're all oh, fine. Wait, wait. Is your name Kenny? I don't mean you. I mean Kick Kenny Dermot. If your name's Kenny Dermot. Then I, sorry, I doxed you at that point. I, I did not mean for that. Oh. Thank you. The Prime Gaming for 26 months. Yeah. Hope you're doing good today. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much. Hope you're doing good. Cheer oh, that's a spoiled apple. Eat that. Apple. Nope, spoiled. Alrighty, now we're back on track. Alright, by having good, hope you've been good too. I've been commentating games for eight hours. What a monster today. And hey, fight, you actually can go around this. I have never ma I've never successfully made it around this. However, right now, uh, with no vehicle and the closest vehicle being on the upper side, I usually take this route. Also, I I am going to not chance that. Remember the golden rule. Play it safe and sorry. You can see right there. It's sometimes you gotta heal. Luckily, I think I should be good for the rest of the game. Usually, the finale is not too bad. It's kind of one of those things where the mid-game is like, sorry, like, 
Late game's rough, but like end game is easy. If that makes sense. All right. I don't know if the golden rule is love thy neighbor's wife. Oh, so in case you're wondering on where we're going, we're going to find Rhonda and Ingleton. Uh, however, before we go to Rhonda, we're actually going to be hitting up a combo locker. The reason why is because it's time to swap. Remember two hours ago? Two hours ago, I grabbed a special weapon that I said we'll be using later. We are finally going to be grabbing it. It's kind of wild that two hours ago I had to plan out a strat that will help me now. This is why we planned it out. The idea behind it is you can uh, go to a combo, uh, you know, combo locker right over here in front of Rhonda. And this is one of the easiest ones to get to. Uh, the card rule is followed. Also that. Uh, we can get rid of a few things here. Also, there's a save point here. All right. So, we're actually going to be grabbing gloves. We're going to be grabbing three gloves. And I think I have a gun in here. Uh, firearm, firearm, firearm. Uh, I never grabbed a pistol. That's hilarious. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll make it work. Okay. Grab the end and make gloves. Pistols are bountiful and then make gloves are not. Uh, we'll make a save. So, remember those MMA gloves? We have three of them now. I need a lot of MMA gloves. Uh, the reason why is because those are going to be the primary ingredient along with a gun for one of the strongest combo weapons in all of Dead Rising 3. This combo weapon is so strong, it is the New Game Plus exclusive weapon. The reason why it's New Game Plus exclusive is because you don't really get it until now. It's supposed to be a very, like, endgame unlockable kind of deal. Rhonda? Anyway, to save Rondo, we're going to have to get a health kit. Uh, this part's pretty easy. Uh, the moment you open the door, just roll. Uh, there's gonna be, like, a stun. You can avoid it. Roll. That being said, these guys actually don't do a lot of damage. You think the military would do damage? They're kind of cool letting you just run by. I, I never have problems running through them. It's really weird. Like, basic zombies, absolutely getting my back torn out. Like, uh, the military? Eh, you cool, dude. Don't worry about it. Hell, the worst thing I've, I've ever done is right there, the body blocking. Like, blocking the door is so much worse than anything else I could have done. Alrighty, and now we're back to Ronda, and we can ignore the uh, military there entirely. All right, and now it's time to combo Ronda. We're going to grab three items. Start up top, make your way down to the bottom. I'm uh, going to drop down here anyway. So, the items are pretty easy to grab, and they're all... They, they're literally right here. I don't think I need to mention it like, oh, grab that, that, that. No, they, they're highlighted. Open your eyes, man. And then combo Ronda. It literally says combo Ronda, Hunter. <laughs> all right, and now we're going to ditch Ronda. Funny enough, any major uh, companion in this game will never be left behind. So all you have to do is drive to the destination and you're good. So what I'm going to be doing is I am actually going to be making my way over uh, up top. I'm going back to Sunset Hills. Meanwhile, you may have noticed I ditched Rhonda. Why did I ditch Rhonda? It's funny. Rhonda's going to run really fast through all the zombie hordes to catch up. She actually might even catch up while I'm swapping Dodge Chargers. Oh god, there she is! They're on to get away from my car! And they run really fast. Like, you ever watch Terminator 2? Imagine that, but like, Rhonda. And like, Katie. And like, everyone in the game. Like, uh, Diego does it. Uh, Dick does it. Uh, Kenny does it. Literally everyone in the game does it. So, it's kind of one of the neatest things about this game that you think, oh, what if we had like a, oh, I don't want to do the escorts. You don't have to. They'll literally just sprint behind you. Like, I'm going to make it to uh, Gary. and like, ah, oh, where's Rhonda? Rhonda, you made it. Tino Thousand can keep up with the car. Well, that's why Rhonda's better. Rhonda's more efficient. 
But I want to mention, not only is Rhonda keeping up with the car right now, she's also having a conversation with Nick the whole time. He's straight up talking to him. You know, I kind of I kind of wish I kept the rake. It's fine. Thank you, work. Oh, right, yeah, it's Thank you for the follow, by the way. Don't let her catch me. No, it'll be good. Don't you worry. Alrighty. And now begins the fun. First off, I am literally going to murder everything, that, kill everything. Uh, I probably should have grabbed a queen. Probably should grab something else, but I think I, I think I'm happy doing that. Right, let's see. Um, why don't you capture you? Oh, she she just uh, killed enter your car. That's it. All right, it's Annie, also known as Katie. Plot twist, it's Dead Rising 2. Katie, oh my god. This game brought back everyone but Frank, which is kind of funny. Anyway, it is now time to ditch the czar. Why? I mean, you don't have to ditch it, ditch it, but like, you're building jazz hands. All jazz hands. You don't care about anything else. If your hands aren't jazzing, I'm not razzing, I guess. I don't know, I don't have anything for that. Either way, there's a bunch of handguns in here. There's like one set of MMA gloves. So, you don't have to actually worry because they are literally scattered. We're actually gonna leave her tied up while I find all the guns in here. Because, like, I think there's like three? I know there's one up front. Oh, there's another one. Yep. We still do need the czar, so don't throw out the czar yet. You only need it for one more room, or one more fight. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. There's literally everything but like MMA gloves in here. There's one set of MMA gloves. There's like five pistols. So the pistols are nice. Also, hey, look, what's this? Oh, what's this? Hang on. Okay, and now we're cooking. We're almost at the end of the game here. All we have to do now is take Annie to the plane. Oh, this is going to require us to go uh, over to uh, bottom left, uh, Amuda. Now, the fun part about this, earlier when we were running through here, I commented that there's two motorcycles and that there is a combo bike and it's nice. However, we don't want it. This is why. Because at this moment, if you save this motorcycle, it will still be here. If you use both, you don't have a car to get out. This is one of the only sections in the game you're forced to run on foot and having a motorcycle to get out is going to be really nice. So, you know, try to get out ASAP. Wait, how did she get on? Did she just teleport on? Was she on the whole time? When did she get on? My gosh, she sprinted up to me. Anyway, look, unlucky. Wait, wait. I tried to hopping off. It didn't let me hop off. Wait, it didn't let me hop off. What? Oh my god, this game is so goofy. I guess we're staying on the bike. Never mind, it's working. May as well keep it, huh? All right, maybe hop off now. Okay, there. I, I think Katie was ruining my bike. By the way. Hey, you're not allowed on my charger. No, no, Katie's allowed. Sorry. All right. Chad, Chad motifs Chad. We're gonna ditch her. Why? It's funny. Annie runs really fast, though. You ever seen a scene girl run? They zoom. And Annie's no different. Yeah, this is the Sigma grind set in action. That's what it is. But she is, uh, she is sprinting behind us, so. Funny enough, I think it actually is slightly faster if she is in the car, but it's too funny to pass up. By the way, as long as you get the car to the end, you're fine. Just don't break it. And all you have to do is go through the rocket's red glare. All right, in we go. And that was the right at the end of the game. There's there's Annie, like I said, she's been bolting the whole time. Have the czar out, and congratulations, you are now officially in the end game. So the boss fight's gonna be with Red, a character we've talked to twice because I skipped all the cutscenes. Oh my god, what a hard fight! Uh shoot uh this. 
to this. And uh, one more for good measure. There we go. Fight's done. The Tsar is very good at that fight. However, the Tsar won't be really good at the rest of the fights, so... I mean, you could use it, but... It is time to show why Jazz Hands are good. Make sure, as long as you're, you know, you're fight doing this fight, you want two Jazz Hands. Ready? Anyway, Red is stupid, and his grand strategy is trying to tackle you. He's literally a rammer. Remember Saw 2 Flesh and Blood? Yeah, uh, that's Red's fighting style. He just sort of rams you repeatedly. And the game says, like, oh, hit him, but, like, don't? Oh, God! I'll close him. Just, uh, give him the jazz hands. And then, uh, he sort of just melts. What a great final boss, right? Except this is the final boss of, uh, regular, regular mode. Uh, we do have overtime left. We'll be doing overtime. Uh, and then we're going to polish him up with the Tsar. And dead. And the old razzle-dazzle. Exactly. All right, good fight. Right, I can't believe it, Hounds. My favorite part. By the way, I like how Red's just some hipster guy leading a resistance, and then he can tank. Uh, I think the Jazz Hands have 188 shots, and I use two full Jazz Hands and, like, probably, like, I what, five Zar bullets? Anyone want to do math? What's 188 times two plus five? Anyway, the game is not done yet. We have the finale. It is time for the drone fight. A lot? A lot. We're gonna steal Chuck Green's car. See ya. More like suck. Go left. You think go right? Don't go right. Go left. You're going to Ingleton. 181. But uh, how? How? Chat, I don't think this is right. I don't think your math is right. 281. Chat, it's 188 times 2. It should be 300 something at least. Maybe more. 381. 381 sounds right. 180 times 2 would be 360, which then would be. Yeah, yeah, chat's, chat's right. Chat's good. Oh, wait. Uh, I have a spot this server. This is. This is the Dead Rising 2 Chuck. Uh, if you're wondering what happened to him, uh, he became a mob boss. He messed things up with Stacy. Uh, and, uh,. He's old. And also, he, uh, his daughter is actually named Annie now. And also, I ruined Chuck's car. He had a credit score. Chuck's credit score has now gone down. Nick Ramos is like... How did I put this? There's an episode of King of the Hill that makes sense to me, but I don't know if that's accurate. There's an episode where, like, there's, like, Hank becomes a mold inspector, and then he, like, hires Bill to go with him to, like... Uh, to like some guy's house and he tests her mold right next to Bill's feet and then he uh, the, he strong arms the guy into you know lifting the mold review from his house because he knows his walls will be torn down either way it's like it's like having Bill be foot fungus man whatever the uh, the equivalent is I, I don't exactly know either way he's going to tank your credit score for being around him that being said how does this fight work you shoot the drones it's not very fun. In case you're wondering, by the way, uh, Chuck does not help. Also, the Zara's not really good for this. Uh, use, like, machine guns. They'll mostly be better. All right, so the phases will always be the same. Phase one will take you there. Uh, phase two is going to take you over there. Hey, this mission, this mission sucks. The worst part is this mission, you know what, this mission would be better if it was fair. Uh, what I mean by that is this mission's not fair because what will happen is as you're doing the mission, 
Uh, if you're doing really good, the game will not reward you for doing really good. Because you can kill all of them, right? They will stop spawning into the game. Which, that sucks. Like, oh, you've killed too many! Oh, no! Well, I missed two. That's fine. By the way, I want to mention Chuck has not fired a single bullet. Let it be known. Chuck has not fired one bullet. He's not allowed in my car. Sorry, entry to my car requires you to land one bullet. Chuck is not allowed inside. Deadbeat can't afford ammo. Are you saying that Chuck was just aiming in the sky going pew, 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 pew? And then Nick noticed it and called him out on that. So honestly, I believe it. Chuck can't afford ammo. He has to... Katie needs Zombrex every day. You know how much money that cost? I mean, Zombrex, I think they jokingly said it cost $500 in the Dead Rising universe normally. And then I think they hike it up in times of crisis. So I guess it's $500 daily for a long time. And let's go... Uh... Let's go from the ages of 10 to, like, I think she's about to be 21 in this game? So, like, 11 years times 500. So that'd be 365 times 11 times 500, right? I think that's math. I, I literally couldn't see. Maybe I'm a crime lord? He did. He did. Literally $2 million. Oh, the sad part is, isn't there an achievement in Dead Rising 2 to become a millionaire? Can't you, like, actually get a million dollars in that game? Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that he can do that more than once, but I feel like Chuck could become a millionaire in Dead Rising 2, and... I'm not gonna blame him, but, like, he should have half of that at least after Dead Rising 2. I'm gonna play a little bit safe here. Nice and safe. Okay, let's go. Alright, we should be fine. I almost always beat Hemlock there anyway. Yeah, but you actually have a good amount of leeway time with this. As long as you took the route I'm taking, you should be fine. And then also, funny enough, uh, every round... Fuck, did you hit me? Oh my... Dude, stop it! Every round, what you want to do... You want to go over here, and you want to get some assault rifles. Plus, I guess rations, because... Game, what the hell is wrong with you? Okay. There. You can kind of see why the end game in this game is kind of rough. Like, as much as I like Dead Rising 3, I really hate overtime mode. Like, Dead Rising 3 has the worst overtime mode out of every Dead Rising game. I'm including 4. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Hey, a lot of people like to rag on Dead Rising 4. The overtime's not bad in that game. It's actually really fun. It's interesting. Come on. Alright, good stuff. Now it's time for the next car. It's pretty easy to just gun it down. By the way, you're spawn camping. That's the answer here. The moment drones come in, just shoot them. Works every time. The spots are also seeded, so you'll always be going to the same spots. The zombies not attacking because they're being harvested right now. And uh, they want them more docile so they don't break their equipment. Because if you had expensive military equipment, you probably don't want uh, goons hitting it. The regular zombies are attacking me. And also, I think Chuck is attacking me? I'm pretty sure he hit me with like, I'm pretty sure I got hit by a bat three times, by the way. Like, I think most of my health has been Chuck. I should have him in the car solely so he stops it. Like, my god, I hate Chuck. 
More like suck, am I right? That's great because out of the story. I don't think that really works because all Dead Rising games out of all overtimes out of the story. That's point of overtime. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't disagree with you. It's more just the fact that like, that's all of them. They all add to the story. This game adds the fact that Chuck Green's in the game, and also you deal with the military general. In addition, you find out more backstory entirely about a lot of the characters previously, and also you you know get the true ending. Dead Rising 2, you end up... Actually, fine, Dead Rising 2 is the only one where it doesn't matter. Like, Dead Rising 2 straight up over time is, like, not a part of the game's canon. Which is kind of funny that of all the games, Dead Rising 2 is the one where over time is not a thing. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Rations. Thank you. Yeah, it's neat enough, King Sheva. I hope you're doing good. I made that bad joke. Well, you got me there, you got me there. Which one, suck? No, I already said suck. I said that right when we started. It's funny that A rank is rather than S rank. It's mainly weird because in Dead Rising 2, they kind of had to make it work for their uh, DLC. Because you can't really have a good ending. It, like, you need a way to remove Katie and Stacy from the story to have Frank work. And you can't have Frank and Chuck and Katie! No, you need Frank and Chuck. No one cares about Katie, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that, that's not how it works. So, it makes the most sense. It's like, hey, get her out of here! And then Chuck is the hero. And then it's like, oh no, Katie! Whatever will I do? And this time, I try. Alrighty, now we wait. I need to drink water. I've been talking a long time. Okay. You know what? I agree, Iris. I agree. Katie should have been the main character in Dead Rising 4. Not not adult Katie, like, 10-year-old Katie should have beat all the zombies in Willamette, Colorado. That's right. It'd be like one of those RE2 mods where Sherry's running all over the place beating ass. Alright, let's do this. I like how the preposterous part is a girl, but not a child. Uh. Wait, oh, come on. I hate it here. All the way around, all the way around. It's fine. By the way, I missed exactly two drones, and I think the drones straight up despawned at one point, by the way. I don't know how many drones they released, but this is the fun part. Chad, do you love the fact of the matter that they say, Oh, you actually have to go to Sunset Hills now. Like... God, I hate this ending. Get her a mech? Oh, of course. Yeah. This is the one downside I have with Dead Rising 3. Um, the ending's a bit rough. Um, I really don't like overtime mode in this game. It's like, the fight's cool, the actual fight's worth it, but like... Getting there is like pulling teeth, and it's so rough. The sad part too is you could fix it by just releasing more drones. Like, it's so easy to fix it. Just don't make it so you have... Did I get stunlocked underneath the car that was exploding? That is wild. I'll play it safe. I'll get a new car. Screw it. What? Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh, you're not a car. Uh. Are there any cars around? Nothing. Where are the cars? Let's do this. 
I know where to find one. I know where to find one. I'll be okay. By the way, if I, remember, if I remember correctly, I don't think the spawns are any better on, on story mode. I think the spawns are universally terrible. So you're wondering, no, I'll play story mode as a game. I don't think this section gets any better. Remember how I talked about Vehicle Bush being one of the most important upgrades in all of Dead Rising? Upgraded immediately. I like this game, I really do. I just this game does have some genuine flaws. And most of them are in the fact that uh this game really likes to uh ruin its base. Hey, we have a really cool game where you drive cars in a big city. Psych, you're walking! What? No! By the way, if you didn't have vehicle push, you wouldn't be able to drive. Like, straight up, the game would not let your car go forward. There are so many zombies in this game, you cannot drive through them. Even with vehicle push, you almost go to a crawl. I had to use a combo car to make this work. Okay. Almost got it. Alright, he let loose the drones. Uh, hopefully I make it. I'm a little bit late, that's fine. Should be able to make it, I think. Uh-oh. Uh, oh boy. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not! Not two and a half hours in, please. Okay. I got really unlucky with my cab, uh, my, uh, my taxi just, like, exploding. And it did. Oh my god, did I lose all of them? Please don't drive away. Oh my god, I got one. Unless he releases more. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Stop that. Oh my god, I'm so happy I leveled up there. Okay, almost done. The far of the fight, though, because it's right there. Get rid of the box! Stop that! By the way, I learned something. I learned something funny. It absolutely has been Chuck hitting me. I don't know if it's sad or funny. Every Chuck has absolutely been the one murking me. Alright, there we go. It's done. The drone fight is done. We are out of there. I somehow golded the drone fight. My god, that was a terrible fight. Alright, time for the final boss. Ready? It's gonna be a lot nicer. Okay, game time. Walk up to him. Jazz hands, baby. Stay close and give him the old rattle dazzle. He might throw you out of the ring. Do not be out of the ring for long. He gets a gun. A strong gun. His melee attack's pretty weak. Rattle him. We are gonna rattle him. I think I ended up behind him. You'll probably run out of both jazz hands, and that's okay. This is actually why we grab the other guns, like the Zar again. We want to keep the one Zar just for the final hits. 
Time ends when he's dead. GG. Woohoo! And we did it. All right, that was Dead Rising 3 Explained. Oh my God, I finally did it. I hate this game, but I like this game, but I hate this game. The ending sucks. I almost died several times. My God, what a run, huh? Anyway, uh, I, I think that's also, I don't, I don't remember what time that is. I think that's top two technically, but also it's world record, but also it's top two. I did old check. Here, let me alt tab. Let me, let me uh, open my phone. I'll check. I think leaderboard will say top two. Before what I want to do, it's top one. Uh, let me see. Anyway, yeah. Uh, top two. How far away? By the way, top one's using DLC. That's why I'm like, for what I want to do, it's it's top one. Well, okay, Chloe also uses DLC. And with the five bits. Let's go, buddy. I said DLC is pretty strong. I do it. I don't think it's exclusively that, which is why I'm like saying for what I want to do it's top one, but like also it's top, it's top like hey. it's top two, but also what I want to do it's top one. Thank you. Oh, enjoy the work. Yeah, that was Dead Rising Three All Bosses. New game commentated, no DLC. Nightmare. It's a pretty wild run. A lot going on with it. Some parts could have been faster, but at the same time be good uh, i definitely wish certain parts went better like the redneck fight but you know what i'm happy i have that and you know what? i finally got a sincere pb in this category because i haven't like got i haven't, i never updated my speed on leaderboard time for this category because i only ever ran it um i keep running it during the marathon days and every time i ever tried having a good run of it like whenever i tried explaining it it would die there so yeah that would do it that would absolutely do it Anyway, we saw a cutscene, but I'll say right now that if you did enjoy Dead Rising 3 and enjoy this explained video, I hope you, uh, hope you had a good time. Uh, remember to, you know, like the video, uh, comment, uh, like, comment, subscribe as they say, right? You can, uh, let me know if you want to see other explained videos from my speedrun catalog, which you can find somewhere at speedrun.com. But yeah, if you can scrub through the video section, you'll see probably during the redneck fight that the DLC gets used. And I think other fights use DLC, uh, DLC as well. I don't think DLC should be used. I'm really anti-DLC. I just don't want to make enough, big enough stink about it. So that's what I'll say. My, my own my own spear, no DLC. So. But I don't care about a leaderboard. But it's let it be known. It is noon. In fact, I think that was a whole stink. I think he did make a stink about that when it happened. Yep. Yeah, the game is absolutely challenging with no DLC. Oh, you're jealous of my work. You always have been. You're so desperate to find your mark. You think you walk again? You think you'll be cured? Shut up. You're lucky I didn't take your legs as well. I wasn't kidding. She literally says, You're lucky I didn't take your legs. Okay, as you missed tonight at work, I learned there was only three. Uh. Octar 3, Homecoming. Is it for the money? I don't give a shit about the money. Another game. I'm going to make up with my brother and this. We might do one more game? It'll be good. Frank West, not this. Chuck Green, he left me to die once. I like how she's upset that they Chuck left her to die. die. Like, why is that a problem? They barely know each other. Find a cure. And also, you loved him. Like, what? Interest. <laughs> that she was upset about Frank. There's just this Frank West, this Chuck you. Green. He left me to die. Like, she doesn't do that with Frank. She does that with uh, Chuck. He's like, why? Also, Isabella is stupid because like. Is she stupid? That's not how laptops work. You have to at least destroy the hard drive. I can just reach in there, grab the hard drive, pop in another machine. There's so many ways I can get that information out of there. And maybe it's for dramatic effect because she knows the city is getting firebombed, but like... Is she stupid? They didn't want to leave her there? She also ditched them! 
Yeah. He is, yeah. They kind of ruin Isabella at the end of Dead Rising 3. It's one of the downsides. Anyway, Dead Rising 3. Oh, God. Still, there's a chance the laptop is usable. Well, dude, fix the screen, pop back on the back. You're good to go. NT team and the scientists are not the same people. Right, but, like, I feel like I would do more than... Eh. Like, dude, piss on it. I don't know anything. Do anything else. Take it with you. Yank out the hard drive. Light it on fire. The only thing she knows is that maybe she's expecting the firebomb. Like, eh, they'll take care of it. It's a firebomb, right? Anyway, that Rising 3. I did it. I really hope my video doesn't end with me saying piss on it. What a game. Danny anyway, chat, that's world record for what I wanted to do. Yay. Actually, I could probably... You know what? You know what, chat? I'm gonna make a... I think... Oh, let me double check here. Let me, let me verify. 